Love from your original home country, Wales. Oh, I feel bad for you. Actually, you know what? Maybe Wales is fine now. I don't know. How's Wales doing? I know Cardiff as an up and coming film places now, isn't it? So this is what we're doing today. Um, I believe it was uh, the Jowds user known as Caps has uh, created a tier list of everything that we've streamed, including like some of the obscure one-off streams, which I barely remember. So we're gonna go through. We're gonna make we're gonna make two tier lists today. Okay, two tier lists. All right. We are going to judge the first one. We're going to judge as how good was the stream? How good was it as a stream experience? And then we're gonna do a second one, which is the same list. We'll have different categories, which is how good was the game? Like, and we'll see. Like, does a good game always mean a good stream? All right. That's that's what we're gonna do. So. There's a lot to get through, so um, we're probably going to gloss over a bit on the game part and we're going to focus on was it a good stream, but you know, we'll reminisce. It's probably going to take us the whole stream, so we'll see. Does the audience have any say in this? I mean, you can shout at me for while we deliberate, and if you convince me of something or make or rem remind me of something fun that happened during it, then sure, yeah. How's it going? How's it going, Gatsby? So uh, last night I almost lost both my arms when a guy with a Doberman walked down the street. Um, it's getting to the point now where I'm not sure if I can take both of them, both of my my dags out, um, uh, like even on the front lawn. I don't know if I can. I don't know if it's safe anymore. What? No, the the Doberman wasn't the problem. It was my dogs are like other dog, woof, and I, like I'm like being being dragged like across the the yard, like trying to hold them back because they're like you know so. I, I don't know, like, like I said before, like, Yoshi is over 80 pounds, I think he's 80, 83, 85, and Gatsby's 122, 123, something, something like that, when they last went to the vet, so I don't know, maybe they were having a fat day, um, so, like, the dogs are very strong, <laughs> That's so, yeah, Gatsby's pretty much a wolf. Like, there, Gatsby is bigger than some wolves. Obviously, there are some wolves that are huge and are way bigger than Gatsby's. I think some, some wolves can get to 200 pounds, can't they? So, but like, Gatsby is bigger than some wolves that are out there. So, Elephant Sacks by Maddie. I can tell from the art style. See, look, it says, it says Maddie. Dumb elephant. Whoa! I mean, the elephant does look a little dumb, but, but cute and adorable. I support elephants. I like elephants. More Elephant Sacks by Jelly. Yeah, I was the soundtrack lead and sound designer for Deadly Premonition. I did the brass, of course. <laughs> but I was also the one behind the vocals and sound effects, too. <laughs> Sweary himself hired me. I was making ends meet on the streets back then. Bus buskin, you know? Buskin, you know? Nothing to my name except my sax and my soul. Of course, you know what they say about jazz, don't you? The music of the soul. Music for your soul. And then uh, during the interview, someone said, do you uh, remember um, all of your time spent working on the game? And and the elephant said, yeah, of course. I never forget. Thank you, Jelly. <laughs> Aww. Aww. So this is, this is the... Yeah, okay. Additionally, while we formally recognize that council member Anu Memes has acquired the legal rights to dibs on the saxophan elephant uh, emote, um, we nonetheless find it necessary to pitch an alternative vision of the future. Gentlemen and ladies of the court, let the war for that future commence. I think, I think a war, the entertainment value of a war overrides dibs. And as long as I pay everyone for their emote con contribution, and then we have a war over it, I think, I think it's an ethical war. The rare ethical war, do we all agree? Let the elephant saxophant wars begin. I think I, I think I need to, um, contact all the participants first if you would if you would like to participate in the in the saxophone war then uh you know maybe dm me and we'll we'll get it brewing we'll see <laughs> oh, this one this one moves and has um legs by zestorin oh the the riz damn oh damn this one has a little bit of attitude a little a little pep huh unmute it uh, it might be super loud let's see The timing of it with the with the sunglasses falling down. That's great. That is great. Well done. Well done. 
Okay, so she's she's laying on top of something. All right. Okay. All right. She's laying on top of something. All right. Okay. This I think this is the pose from the game, right? Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> By high high law high law and K gonna gonna get me banned on the 100k follower special. All right. Huh? Where did where did my clothes go? Yep. Yep. That's 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 what's said. Spirella? What's Spirella? Oh, and then yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, it's it's a it's a fan art crossover. Back to Gravity Rush. Oh, uh, all right. Let's uh let's uh let's let's scroll down, just in case we are gonna get banned. Very 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 beautifully drawn, but I'm scared. Tutor, Tutor Chan, Tutorial Chan. Oh yeah, Tutor is in the word tutorial. This is by uh by Anna Anna Cafe Bitta, aka Cafe Tutorial Chan Gravity Dash X or whatever the, whatever the name. Oh, she's pretty cute. I like her. Kick with square. Sharp turn into the Pixar mom. <laughs> Did you know that you can use gravity kick to make a, sh a sharp turn while maintaining dash momentum? Though it is a little janky, just like the game. Oh, can you? I, I felt like whenever I kicked, I wasn't really... Um, I was losing some of my momentum a little bit when the kick, kick initiated, but not too much. So, books on the belt, ready to go. Nice. I, I'm a fan of uh, Tutorial Chan. Although sometimes uh, tutorial chain outstays are welcome. Merrick? No. Who's this? Vixit! Aw oh, man, you got real close to Merrick's art style. Hot damn, good job. Holy shit. For this, the sexier version has has to be scrapped. EKB saved saved you. What? There was there was a sexy version of this that wasn't allowed, but but this that I don't even want to scroll back up to the top was okay. Okay, wait here for a bit. I'm gonna check if the sky has a hole that we can go through. Sure, to just as normal Half Life Two things. Things are getting uh, pretty desperate, huh? This is probably the end. Hey hey. Can't see me, huh? Alex, <laughs> just come closer to where? What? What? Here. Vumf. All right. Voosh. What? Oh, pulled out of the, the panel. What is this? Oh, I know who this is. Be oh, look, look, look at the, the panels floating through the panel verse. Look at this. Pomf. What's happening? Where am I? Who are you? Is that me? Am I dead? No, no. Calm down. Oh, the elephant with the sacks. I just remember I was pretty lonely there and I thought I'd keep you company. Remember? Remember? Yep. Hello past me. We'll make it through somehow. <laughs> How do we have? I have so much lore! I have the chance! I have the chance of so much lore! <sighs> Oh, they're getting along. Meanwhile, <laughs> choke am, huh? I'm gonna find a hole. Da, 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 da. Uh, my fanfic lore. By the way, Morphe Chan helped Morphe Chan. Oh, mor morphogenic field. Ch oh, Morphe. Okay, Morphe. Morphe Chan. It's a little small on my screen. Sorry. I, I remember Morphogenic Field Chan. By the way, Morphe Chan helped helped me with time travel stuff, and we can't just hop into other comic panels. So no. It's not just a one-to-one -one Gwenpool ripoff. All right, I don't know who Gwenpool is. Well, I've seen Gwenpool, but uh, I'm sure that many people will appreciate that distinction and that and that boundary um, being being set. That it's not a one-to-one -one Gwenpool ripoff. You said a bunch of people in chat wiping the sweat off their brow. B Chan, what you doing? B stands in editor's note. B stands for breaker. What what you doing? Ugh, it's the Quantum Moon Sisters. Oh, they can get out of uh, the panel verse too. They're 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 a bad influence on people with their own variants. <laughs> the self report. You should go. I'll distract them. With the fucking lore. What do you mean? The Quantum Moon Sisters. Also by Vixit. Trolley slash Breaker Chan by Merrick, inspired by Gwenpool. Imagine this being your first stream. Imagine. Absolutely beautiful. The MCU Mer Merrick Chanomatic universe expands into crossovers. I have, throughout Gravity Rush, I have unironically been thinking with Cat. I'm, I'm getting some big stream Chan vibes from Cat. <laughs> anyway, I believe that is the end of fan art. Yeah, I see, I see the lines. So, big real Chan artist. Today, we are doing stream list okay so this is my first time ever doing a stream list and it's also my first time i think solo carrying a 
a just talking stream that wasn't a q a although we might have some questions as we go so i don't know how this i don't know how this is going to go but these are all the streams that we've ever done apparently although there may be one or two missing here or there but um it looks like caps was really thorough thank you again caps for doing this hopefully it wasn't too much trouble um if we did miss one i'm sure it'll come up but um i i don't think so i think i think they're all here and i th i believe they're in order now eagle-eyed watchers among you might be saying if they're in order how come hollow knight is number one so um the first stream i ever did which the vod is lost i think i don't think it's anywhere was um hollow knight with shammy the youtuber shammy um i believe that was the first stream i ever did i think there was someone else in the, in, in in voice with me too it was to very few people i think we were below 100 viewers um, for which for the first time um, ever, you know, for the first stream ever, you know, that that was pretty good. I think there was like like at most 53 people there, something like that. Um, so that that was the first stream, and I think it was deleted. I was just like playing Hollow Knight and trying to see, just, basically, just a test stream to see what would it it would be like. So so that was that. Um, and then after that, it was Cuphead, Hob, and I think all of these are are, are pretty um, pretty standard or known about. I don't think there's any more like quote unquote. Um, secret streams. Can you go to Florence music, please? Am I allowed to play the Florence music? Is it copyright? Like, I played it a couple times, and I, every single time I've played it, I'm kind of like, eh, am I, is that okay? So the title of Cuphead being your first stream ever is just yet another lie, huh? Well, if you count, like, a literal test stream as the first stream ever, then I guess so, yeah, but I didn't even count it because it was, like, very upfront, like, the stream might crash, it might go down, I might have to change some settings, like, it's a, tech, it's a technical test stream. You know, I don't think it counts. All right, so here are here are the rankings. Can I scroll all the way to the top? I think I can. All right, Joseph Anderson streams tier list maker, stream tier list of quote Joe quote Anderson streaming mostly anime game. What do you mean on Twitch.com? Streams are ordered from old to new. Games marked as Q and A were all put under the same image. God of War trilogy put as one game because I felt like it. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay, so um, these these are the the, the the categories. I'm going to change them. All right, so I'm going to change it. I'm going to the top one is going to be the cream of the crop, and then after that we're going to have great vegetables. And my plan is, is that we are going to, um, we're not going to put anything in the cream of the crop until we like have something that we're like, this is great vegetables tier, but you know what? I think it's not as good as something that's already in great vegetables tier. Okay. And how, and how do you usually do it? The one on the left is better. Like within, within the, the ranking, the one on the left is the best one, or is it the one on the right is the best one? I remember seeing this from president's rank stuff like, yeah. Okay. So great, great vegetables. Um, so what is uh what, what what's what's the next one uh wish i'd seen it live tier wish i'd seen it live tier you know like yeah wish i'd been there was a good stream sad i missed it um decent baseline like it was an okay stream you know decent decent all right did um next one i'd rather watch another canadian stream super auto pets all right so that's that that's where we're at. now we're getting to negative all right so now we have to like do more rows how do i do that do i hit do i hit the cog okay oh god all right add add a couple rows below all right let's just add a couple rows below and we'll delete them later all right so now oh shit um all right so what, what's this one uh not no um just just bad like forget what's worse bad or forgettable hmm what's worse I mean, we already have boring, right? Boring, and then like bad would be. I think bad. I think bad is worse. So forgettable would be not even Joe remembers streaming this. And then down here we we can have Mustake. I don't know how to do the little the little uh, umlaut over the over the e. All right, so Mustake. Um, and then uh, Stingskate. This is our our ranking of of the streams. Okay. Now, this this ranking is for how good the game is. And this is gonna be really easy to do. So we're just gonna go with a five out of five, four out of five, three out of five, two out of five, and then a one out of five, okay? That's what we're gonna do. Just ranking the games, gonna be really easy, okay? Out of five, five, four, three, two, one. All right, that's, that's what we're gonna do, all right? Zero out of five, is there really gonna be a zero out of five? All right, we'll put it on there. I don't think we're gonna get one, but maybe we would need a zero out of five, all right? All right, let's just get first blood out of the way. Um, where is it? It's gotta be here somewhere. There it is. All right, there you go, done. All right, so we have our first one on the list. All right, first one on the list. 
I think that this should be 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10. 5 out of 5, 6 out of 10. Not a game. All right, there you go. It's not a game. Six out of 10 is three out of five. Nah, it's not. Three, three out of five is, is a much better score than six out of 10. What are, you, what, are you, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? If I said to you, we're gonna go to this restaurant tonight, it's a six out of 10, and you'd be like, all right, it might, it, it might be, it might be, you know, all right. But then it's like, if I said, oh, we're going to this restaurant tonight, it'd be three out of five, be like, oh, that's gonna be pretty good. Then why is it higher? Because I give a lot of games six out of 10, that's why. No, it is though, it is. Look, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not disagreeing that if you like change the fraction to be the same, that they have the same result. Of course they do, of course they do. Of course three out of five is equal to six out of 10. However, in the world of people discussing things and communicating and you're ranking things, a three out of five is a much stronger recommendation than a six out of 10. Absolutely, absolutely. That's IGN mentality, it's not. That's just, we're not talking about math. Of course you're, you're right on, on the math. No one's arguing that they're different, but in terms of like communication, three out of five. Three out of five is worth way more than than a than a, um, than a six out of 10. No, four out of five. Okay, f maybe four out of five will be more palatable to you. A four out of five is way stronger than eight out of 10 because your brain goes four out of five. Oh, that's one point away from a perfect score. It must be really good. Whereas eight out of 10 is like, oh, it's two points away from a perfect score. It absolutely, the, the, the amount of numbers on the scale absolutely dictates how each point is worth and how you view the judgment of it. It's, it's so fucking right. Cause your brain goes, oh, this did only one bad thing wrong to get down to four. Whereas the other one, it must've done two. Same way that eight out of 10 is a much stronger recommendation than 80 out of hundred. Cause you'd be like, oh, what 20 things did this fuck up in order to lose 20 points? Anyway, let's get started. Let's, let's get started. Here we go. Here we go. Hollow Knight, first Hollow Knight stream. Okay, so here's, here's the thing. The first Hollow Knight stream is definitely not even Joe remembers streaming this. <laughs> Absolutely, easily, not even Joe remember streaming this, okay? Now, if, if we're talking about the streams that, that when we came back, we streamed Hollow Knight a little bit while we were like setting up audio or whatever, you know, I think decent baseline, all right? Decent baseline, all right? So, cause like we had some fun with the audio messing up or whatever, we had, we had some bants back and forth. It was nice to be back. However, you know, like it, it wasn't exactly like, oh, wish I'd seen it live. Wish I'd, oh, sad I missed that, you know, and it's definitely not great vegetables, okay? Hollow Knight, when you came back, was marked as cute. Oh, where, where are those? How do I see those? I, I'm, I'm, I'm not tearless pilled, so I don't know where any of this, when any of this is. Second row, first image. Oh, my microphone's blocking it. All right, so the Hollow Knight streams are Q and A. All right, so this is definitely, oh, that's, that's gonna be pretty big. That's a, that's a big category. All right, I'm putting this into not even Joe Rambo streaming this, all right? All right, there we go. Okay, there we go. Good, all right, all right. So Cuphead, Cuphead was my first serious stream ever. All right, I gotta say, I think for my first stream ever, it was decent. I played the game quite well. I think at some point Total Biscuit showed up, so it was kind of cool to have that kind of kind of support. Maybe that was on the on the second, did I stream that more than once? It was kind of cool, first stream ever, you know? S someone, you know, big in the gaming sphere, like actually showed up in the chat. Really? Yeah, really. Yeah, Total, Total Biscuit showed up um, at, toward the end of the stream. <clears throat> um, I think that we are... Or is my memory getting messed up? I think I think when I was on Co-Optional, I think he said that he saw the stream. But I can't remember if he said in chat. I know he showed up during Hello Neighbor. But did he show up in the... I know he was there for the Cuphead stream because he told me. But I don't know if he chatted. He definitely chatted in the Hello Neighbor stream. I remember that. Anyway, so I think Cuphead is... You know what, first stream, I'm gonna give myself a little props. I think decent baseline, especially cause I was new. I think decent baseline. Anyone else disagree? I think, I think, you know, it's it's fine. It's fine. Maybe because, you know, the streams ended up going like 100K followers right now. We're, we're supposed to be celebrating the history. Maybe it's even wish I'd seen it live because maybe I wish I had been there. I wish I was there to be able to have seen the inception of, of the streams, you know, wish I'd seen it live, right? But maybe, maybe decent baseline. Vote on a better score. Six out of 10, three out of, people are just being contrarian now. That's going to, you think so? You know what? Decent baseline, decent baseline. Hob, I think Hob is I'd rather watch another Canadian stream Super Auto Pets. I, it's it's barely not even Joe remember streaming this. I think Hob is a decent game. I do remember some parts of it, but not really much. I do have to say that Hob was the first stream and it was like like second second official stream. I was already breaking games even back then. Like I broke that game a lot on stream. So like, I think I think um, I think it had, had some moments, but I think it's 
I'd rather watch another Canadian stream Super Auto Pets. All right, hat and time. Definitely not even Joe Rember streaming this, although I had a camera on, so I was very uncomfortable. Okay. So I think, I think that's, that's, uh, let's just gloss over that. I barely remember the game at all. I would like to play it again at some point, but I don't know if I want to stream it. Um, so, so that's that. Um, enter the Gungeon. When did we stream Enter the Gungeon? I remember streaming it for a Q&A, but I don't remember streaming it on its own just for fun. So this is definitely not even Joe Remember streaming this, for sure. We're starting off with some, with some poor ones, man. The beginning of the streaming career was not that great. I gotta say, I'm learning this firsthand right now. Even the ones that are coming up that I'm like, yeah, I remember that. You know, weren't that great. Weren't that great. All right, Dr. Lang Langaskov, the tiger, and the terribly cursed emerald. I do remember this, but I don't think it was a good stream. I think I'd rather watch another Canadian stream through Brada Pets, or maybe even a mistake. I think it was pretty boring, actually, for, for the stream. For the enjoyment of the game, I don't really remember it all that much. I think it's a mistake. I think I made a mistake. Ruiner, I do remember it. I think it was kind of kind of boring as a stream. I, I think it's I'd rather watch another Canadian stream Super Auto Pets. Spoilers, I think we're gonna have a lot of I'd rather watch another Canadian stream stream uh stream streamer. Uh another oh no, it's another Canadian stream Super Auto Pets. No, that, that doesn't make sense. I think we're gonna have a lot of that. Shovel Knight, you know what? Shovel Knight, I do remember it. Was anyone here for the Shovel Knight streams? Were they good? Three out of five is better than six out of ten. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was, how is it rigged? Decent baseline? I think it's a decent baseline. Yeah, decent baseline. We, we were playing some some platforming. I remember, you know, Shovel Knight was pretty fun. I think decent baseline. It was okay. Six out of 10, but not three out of five. Six out of 10. All right, Nier Automata. All right, I gotta say, I think Nier Automata was a mistake. I think it was a mistake. I think it was a mistake to try and tackle that that big of a game this early on in my stream career. I think it was a mistake. I don't think my Nier Automata streams are that great. I, I feel like I wasn't really, hey, hey, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, 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 chat, chat, you might not be here. There's a separate, there's a separate one for judging it as a game. This is judging it as a stream, okay? This is judging it as a stream. Like game, all right, you know, five out of five, out of five. Cuphead, six out of 10, Hob, three out of five. Hat in time, um, I don't, I didn't finish it, so not a game. Enter the Gungeon, five out of five. Uh, this, I, uh, I don't think it was a game. Ruiner, three out of five. Shovel Knight, uh, honestly, three out of five. Near Tanma, at least a six out of ten. All right, these, these, these are the games. Okay, these are the games. All right, we're talking about as a stream. Near Tanma to stream was pretty bad. I don't think I did. I, near streams are great. Were they? Okay, if if I streamed it now, I think we'd have a better time. Am I being too harsh on myself? I remember being having trouble keeping up with chat. I wasn't really focusing on the game that much and I missed some stuff of it. Maybe putting in a mistake is too low. So stream it again. Oh, we, oh, we, you were so shy back then. Yeah, I know. And I feel like that makes it a mistake. I shouldn't have streamed near Tomina so early. It was good. Well, I mean, it was good as experience. So I'm glad that I did. But as a stream in entertainment, I don't know. Everything is super auto <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's staying there. It's staying there. It's staying. There. It, it was a mistake. It was a mistake. Um, Ninja, Ninja, Mark of the Ninja. Not even Joe Rember streaming this. It's 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 a hard. Not even Joe Rember streaming this. I gotta say. I gotta say. Like I think we need a new category. Maybe a children's softball game. Like if if instead someone put up their phone and was like, Hey, do you want to watch this? I'd be like, Yeah, I'll watch that because I'm at a children's softball game. I'd rather not watch the softball game. I'll watch the stream. Like maybe we need a new category for, for that. Like if there was nothing else on, you know, I would I would be happy about that. Anyway, um, I think Mark of the Ninja is definitely a not even Joe remember streaming this because I really I really don't. Okay, background noise tier. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Yeah, background noise. Mm hmm. We need a new tier. That's a little bit above between not even Joe remember streaming this and Mistake. I think we need I think we need a like a. A whatever tier background noise okay let's do it let's do it add a row, row below and what color do we want this to be uh another another green another green all right background noise all right i think i think near tomina deserves a little better than mistake and i think that mark of the ninja deserves a little <laughs> no i don't even remember streaming it i think i think that's pretty good all right Oxes are not included. Again, I gotta be like, of course these they're gonna be front loaded here because they were so long ago. I don't remember streaming Oxygen not included. I have no memory. I actually, I can have, I have a glimmer of streaming Hat in Time and Hollow Knight at the beginning. I have a glimmer of playing Mark of the Ninja. I don't remember the first stream of Gungeon at all. I have no memory of playing Oxygen not included whatsoever. The coloring is a mistake. Okay, what color would you like chat? What color would you like? All right, we have red, orange, lighter orange, yellow, green, 
lighter red, or are they the same red? It just looks different because my monitor is going down. What you want? What you want for not even Joe Rember streaming this? Give give me the color of, of these. Gray. You want gray? All right. Not even Joe Rember streaming this is gray. What do you want background noise to be? White. All right. There you go. Is this good for you now? They're all a different color. Are we good? Can we pause this and do a color tier list first? Yeah, maybe we should. All right. Should we do a color tier list? What color should the red tier be? I think blue. Spin the wheel. All right, let's spin the wheel. Hold on, hold on. Let me get spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. How do I get the wheel? Is it wheel of names? All right, spin the wheel. All right, here we go. All right, we're spinning the wheel. All right, so we're, we're spinning the wheel for the best color. So red, blue. I like how this is going. Purple, orange, yellow. Um, what other colors are there? Gray. Oh, gray with an E, sorry. Uh, black, white. What else? Eric, Eric, yeah, Eric, what else? 100 mil off marble race, all right? Joe reveals real name, all right? What else, what other colors are there? Pink, purple again, you know what purple fans? Just for that, purple's not on the list anymore. Purple's gone. Get fucked, purple fans. Icarus flew too close to the sun. Flew too close to the sun, purple's not a color anymore. Light blue, no, we're not doing shades. We're not doing shades. Purple has to go back on, it's purple. Come on, purple's a good color. Okay, green, green is my favorite color and it's just low down. All right, what else? Cyan, no, fuck cyan. No, okay, fine, we'll put cyan on, fuck. Okay, what else? What else? I'm almost I'm almost locking this in. Is there any important car uh, color that we haven't put on here? Red and yellow and green and blue, orange and purple and brown i don't know the singer name but brown all right brown what else magenta all right magenta magenta all right what else last one is there any color that we're missing i think i think we're done right i think this is all of them i don't think we're missing any big colors right now okay here we go all right so elimination round here we go whatever's last one standing is is canonically chat's favorite color all right here we go chat's favorite the first worst color in the world is Cyan, get the fuck out of here, Cyan. That looks like red to me, but okay, maybe I'm colorblind. All right, let's get rid of it, shuffle. All right, here we go. All right. Oh, 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 good thing we put purple back on there. Oh man, purple is gone. Purple is gone. All right, here we go. Where's Undo and Trolley Chan? Where are they? Yellow, yellow's one of the worst colors. I agree, get the hell out of here, yellow. Cheap ass color. Get out of here, yellow. All right, here we go. All right, let's get let's get out of here. All right, oh, 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 orange is gone. I'm not a huge fan of orange. Orange is fine, it's a fine color. All right, orange is gone. All right, orange is gone. Oh, ho, 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 get out of here. 100 million off of marble is gone. Oh, tough luck, weebs. Tough luck, all right. Let's go. What's gone now? Green or magenta? Green. Ah, oh, green's my favorite color. Ah, oh, damn. I wish green was the best color, but the wheels have said no. Green is gone. What's the new fan favorite now? I think red. Red or black. All right, here we go. Pink. Pink's a good color. I like pink. Ah, oh, pink is gone. Pink is gone. All right. What else? Eric? What color is Eric? Was that racist? Gray. Gray is gone. Gray. Gray is gone. Eric. Eric Dodge. Eric has one all right oh magenta magenta's gone sorry maddie sorry magenta's gone all right might be revealing my real name sorry i get a little nervous <laughs> white is gone see you later white see you later oh dodged thank you Thank you. All right, there we go. Not today, chat. Not today. Not today. All right, here we go. Here we go. What is the best color? Eric? Eric Dodge? Eric, Do brown is gone. Red, oh, red is gone. Red is gone. Red is gone. All right, so it's between blue, black, and Eric. <laughs> All right. All right, it's between blue and Eric. All right, let's, and the winner is for chat's favorite color. Sorry, Eric. Blue, blue is the best color. Blue bros, where are you at? Represented? Blue is the best color, there you go. All right, why did we do this? I don't remember, why, why did we do this? 
there you go. Blue is the best color. Jads, what do you think about this? The upset? Hate blue now? All right, there we go. There, there's that. All right. All right, where were we? Okay, so um, Evil Within. All right, you know what? Did we really stream Evil Within 2 right after Evil Within? All right, Evil Within, I think decent baseline. I think Evil Within, I think that was those were some decent streams. I remember them. I think decent baseline. I also think Evil Within 2, also decent baseline, but I think Evil Within 1 was a better stream than Evil Within 2, so that's the ranking. It was the first time we got like a proper stream meme that endures to this day in the form of, yeah, people in chat are saying it's spooky safe. What, what, what's your end game, spooky safe? Spooky sa safe, uh, spooky life? Move, I don't remember to bottom. Really, do you think so? Why? Can I just, can I just drag it? Can I just move it down like this? Why is not even, I don't remember to the bottom? Now, Stingskate is worse. I think we also need, I'd rather have another Canadian streaming super auto pets as my background noise underneath background noise. Because actively watching is better than this background noise. But I think we need a second tier of I'd rather have someone else's background noise as your instead of this background noise, right? Super Mario Odyssey stream. Okay, Super Mario Odyssey stream, I think, I think wish I'd seen it live. Because it, it was the genesis of, of one of my most infamous videos, even though it's not that high performer in terms of views, it is pretty Im infamous. It was my first marathon stream. Arguably, was, is that my only marathon stream? Is that the only time I've streamed more than 10 hours? I think it was a 12 hour long stream, wasn't it? I think I think it's wish I'd seen it live. I don't think it's great vegetables, but I think I wish I'd seen it live. You learned what a thought, that's true. That was the standout moment, learning what a thought is. Yeah, what's a thought? I didn't know, I didn't know, that's true. Standout meme moment. That's so cap, Joe. It's true, cap is in the game. Yeah, it's it's based around caps. You also need a, would have been nice to see in live, but not that nice before base. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, need, we need 10 more categories, I think, yeah. There was also that time where we were in New Donk City and we were doing the big 2D celebration. And I, and I paused the stream to just like, you know, lay into the game and rip into it because it was just so terrible. <laughs> wait, wait, can you do a video tier list of your videos? Maybe one day. Right now we're just dipping our toes in the water of, uh, of tier list streaming, okay? We, we have lost like 50 viewers since the wheel went off the screen. Merrick, I think you're right. I think people people are just constantly strolling, like going through through Twitch and they see a wheel and they're like, oh, that's for me. I wanna see what, what are they spinning? What are they spinning? Here we go. All right, can't believe Eric lost. All right, Resident Evil. Resident Evil, I think Resident Evil 7 is the first great vegetables. Now, I just put my hands up and lean back in my chair and you can't see that. I think it's the first great vegetable. I might move it down. Just because it's in there doesn't mean that it's in there forever. I might move it down to wish I'd seen it live later, okay? But I think Resident Evil 7 was a good time, lots of laughs, se several highlights. Me and Lily talking about where to keep your scorpions in your scorpion room, um, like calm down Mia, like just like the the amount of like Joe wheezing laughs at the, at the whole like pour some stuff on it. I think I think Resident Evil Seven was a really good time. I think I think it's great vegetables. Ethan is so, yeah Ethan is so funny. The game itself was really good to play off of as well. Maybe they're out. <laughs> I think it's great vegetables tier. That's eight. Oh, that is it. Wait, hold on. Isn't there a point in, in Resident Evil 7 where he says something similar when he gets to the uh, when he gets to the house? Or is it is it the police officer that knocks on the door at some point and then the guy? Oh, that's spoilers. But yeah, maybe there was definitely Resident Evil 8. I remember now. Resident Evil 7 streams were pretty poop. Not gonna lie. Wow, wow. Imagine having. Imagine hating great vegetables. Hates great vegetables. Okay, Q and A. Q and A. I don't know. All right, Q and A streams are controversial. For some people, they are the favorite streams. For some people, for other people, they're boring and they never want to watch them. Okay, I don't know what to do with Q and A. It's it's very subjective. I think they were better when Lily and I did it did it together. Speaking of Lily, the Lily Cafe is making a delivery. I don't know. I think Q and A, Q and A could definitely go into great vegetables. I don't know. Background background noise. That's such a negative connotation. B background noise does not mean that just because you're not watching it like background noise implies a certain level of i'm not even listening to it who watches q a in the foreground yeah i agree but background noise to me is just like i just need something on whereas i think people listen to the q a's like more actively than that legendary music stream was q a no legendary music stream is down here i saw it jump jump king has jump king is right here i think we need another category at the top i think we need I think we need legendary chaos at the top, like maybe below, maybe below great vegetables where it's not necessarily great vegetables, but it's just, it's just chaos. I think we need chaos, chaos, 
All right, add a row below. All right, chaos. And we need like uh, a bunch of a bunch of uh, things around it. Chaos. No, I want I want it to be all in one line. There you go. Chaos. All right. So what what color should chaos be? Blue? Yeah, blue. Cause blue blue one. Blue. All right. There you go. Blue. All right. Chaos. All right. I don't know where Q and A should go. I I'm not putting in background noise. It's I, I can't accept background noise is the same as actively listening to something. I can't accept that. It's definitely not wish I'd seen it live. And it's definitely not great vegetable. It's definitely not chaos. It might be great vegetables. For some people, it's the cream of the crop. Contrarian opinion, decent baseline. It feels right, great vegetables. I, oh! <laughs> do, 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 do. I'm putting in great vegetables. Fuck you, chat. It's going there. Hyper light drifter. Hmm. All right. Gotta say, I gotta say, I don't remember streaming it. I like the game. I remember playing it, but I don't remember streaming it. I don't really remember it. I don't remember a single thing that happened during that stream with talking to chat or anything. Maybe I wasn't really talking to chat that stream. I was just focused on the game. Hundred, oh, 100, la 100 laps was pretty hype. I remember that. That was that was hyper uh, hype hype light drifter. Um, I do remember that part. It's definitely not a mistake. Maybe it's background noise. I don't know. Maybe it's background noise. Let's put it, background noise is looking pretty thin. Let's put it in background noise. All right. All right. Uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. I think this is this is a hard mistake. We couldn't even get it running properly. I don't even know why we played it. I don't I don't know why we played it. Maybe we were, we were just trying to do like oh new game just came out. Let's see what that's going to be like to stream a new game at, right at the start. Um, it it chugged like crazy. We had to mess around with the settings. It like there were a lot of technical issues. I think that's that's a hard mistake. Honestly, maybe even a Stinkskate. But I think Stinkskate is you know for something that was especially like bad and rotten like stinkskate itself i think it's a mistake for sure the stanley parable oh okay it's at least a wish i'd seen it live i think it's at least wish i'd seen it live stanley parable was a good time that was a good stream i don't know if it's it's not chaos is it great vegetables played ultra deluxe i have not no the the broom closet ending has isn't it see the mark of a good stream is do we still quote it today and we do we make the did you get the broom closet ending variant joke like like a couple times a month. I think it might be great vegetables. Oh man. It might be great vegetables, man. I don't know. I really don't know. I think it's I think it's great vegetables. I'm sorry, I think it's great vegetables. I think the Stanley Parable was a better stream than which I than than uh Mario Odyssey. I think QA is probably gonna be at the end of, of the great vegetables up here. I think that's it. Was there any other standout moment than than great vegetables? My favorite. I think mistake Mustake and not even Joe remember streaming this tiers need to be swapped. Do you think so? All right, I can swap it. Man, we're gonna be swapping the the, the rankings. That we just all these games just moved up a whole tier. All right. See, not even Joe remember streaming this is not a mark against it. It's just I don't remember it. Like maybe I was tired that day, or if it was too long ago. Like I don't know. Like I don't think there's gonna be very many in them after this. Then put it at the bottom. Uh, no, let's leave it like this for now. Let's leave it like this for now. Okay, Neo. Okay, we finished the whole game. I think it's background noise here. I don't know. The people who watched the Neo streams, did you enjoy the gameplay? Because if you enjoyed the gameplay, maybe it's a decent baseline for a gameplay stream. I remember playing them. I don't really remember. I don't really remember a lot of the riffing back and forth with chat, to be honest. I think it was more concentrating on the game. I, th I think it's, I don't think it's a mistake, but I think it's background noise here. Oh yeah, he did stream that tier. I think that's what background noise tier is. It's like, oh yeah, I remember that. I didn't remember until you said it just now. I think it's background noise tier. I want to ask why Nier is so low, but I really did listen to it mostly as background noise, even if I love the game. Nier is so low as a stream, not as a game. As a stream, it's really low because um, I was new to streaming and I, I didn't really know what I was doing. That's why it's so low. This feels right, right? I think this feels right. Yeah, it's background noise tier. All right, uh, they are billions. Um, there are billions had had one hype moment when we got lucky, but I gotta say, I think I do remember streaming it, but not very well. We had, we had a good joke when I, um, said that I've never met a Sonic fan in real life that didn't smell faintly of cheese. I remember that. That sticks out in my memory. I think it's background noise tier, but I think Neo is better than it and Hyperlight Drifter. This actually feels kind of right for the background noise ranking right now. Yeah. Okay, is I'd rather watch another Canadian stream Super Auto Pets? I feel like these need to be swapped. I think background noise is better than I'd rather watch another Canadian stream Super Auto Pets. Because these seem like better streams to me than these. Yeah, I think this this feels right as well. Yeah, okay, there we go. We've, we've done this now. Yeah, I think I think that's it. Yeah, okay. 
Uh, Hotline Miami. Um, I do remember streaming it, but barely, to be honest. It was all right. I don't even know if it's good as background noise. I'm kind of feeling I'd rather watch another Canadian stream Super Auto Pets. We never, I thought we did, fin did we finish it? We didn't finish it. Where, there, where are their VODs? I don't know if those VODs went up on YouTube. They might've. It was a half a stream. Maybe it was a Mustake. I don't know. I'm glad I, no, it wasn't Mustake because I'm glad I did it. No, this feels right. This feels right again. And also the ranking feels right here too. Titanfall 2. Oh, okay. Titanfall 2. That's at least decent baseline. I enjoyed the Titanfall 2 stream. I enjoyed the game. The game is also, you know, doing some of the heavy lifting here. The joke about BT standing for best Titan was pretty good. When I jumped out of the mech and turned around and looked at it and said, you know, like, I love you. Let's, let's see, let's, what's your situation on your butt? And I could say we could make it work. I think, I think it's decent baseline. Is it better than Evil Within, Evil Within 2? I don't think it's Wish I'd Seen It Live. This feels right. Is it better? Hmm. Oh, hold on. What are these? I think these, I think Evil Within, Evil Within 1 and 2, I think are, they should be to the left. Is Titanfall 2 better than though? I think maybe it is. Yeah, I think so. All right. Undertale. Oh man. Okay. Undertale is great vegetables. All right. And it's rank one great vegetables now. Now remember, remember, we're not putting cream of the crop up there yet, but we might do it right now. Everything goes into great vegetables and then it goes up to cream of the crop later, okay? Or like when, when we look at it and see, does it belong here? And I gotta say, compared to Resident Evil and Stanley Parable, I think it is cream of the crop. I think it's cream of the crop. I think it rises to the top. Cream of the crop. I, I think it, it has to be, right? It's one of the most watched VODs on, on the second channel as well. I think it was one I think it was the first like like truly like iconic playthrough that we did. It's like holy shit. You know, like all three of the iconic playthroughs that, that we've done, you know, which sounds like, oh wow, you had three iconic playthroughs. Yeah, I've been streaming for like fucking six years. So, you know, that's not a good hit rate. But you know, I th I think I think it's cream of the crop. The 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 moment at the end of genocide route, pretty fucking hype. Yeah, it's gotta be. It's gotta be. What were the other standout moments? Do we quote Undertale to this day? Sometimes I do the joke about Phil's youth determination, but it's pretty rare now. It's not, it's not as, oh, Joe is a weeb. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's the most enduring one from that. Yeah, Joe is a weeb confirmed. Yeah, determination, dog salad. We don't say dog salad as much as we should. I'm learning this now. Dog salad is a is a, is a high tier joke and we don't do it. I'm really upset I ate the snowman piece. That, that might be the most enduring meme. I say that all the time. I really, I'm really upset I ate the snowman piece. Yeah, that is the most enduring meme from Undertale apart from the, the weeb clip. Holy shit. Orange floors or orange scented, we do that bit too. Yeah, there are a bunch of them. <laughs> yeah, um, I think, I think, yeah, cream of the crop. It feels right, right? Megalovania. Well, now we're just judging the game. Stardew Valley. All right, Stardew Valley, not to be confused with the Q&A Stardew Valley is when for a couple streams, I think maybe two at most, we just chilled and played Stardew Valley as a chill out game. And I think this, it's not, it's not Stinkskate. I do remember it. I don't think it was a mistake, but I think it's definitely, I'd rather watch another Canadian stream Super Auto Pets or background noise. I don't know. I think background noise. I think background noise. These, I don't think it's baseline. I think it's, I think it's lower than a baseline. Darkwood. All right, I gotta say, this is a hard, not even Joe remember streaming this because I don't. There is like maybe the faintest glimmer. So it's definitely above oxygen not included because I, I barely remember. And it's probably above Mark of the Ninja too. I, I don't remember playing oxygen not included on stream at all, but I do have a faint glimmer of playing Darkwood kind of kind of in my head somewhere. Um, I think we only streamed it for, for, for one as well. Um, Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2. These are, these are mistakes because I only streamed them for like one quick stream while I was recording stuff for, for the Odyssey video. And I feel like I should have just done it on my own. I feel like these were mistakes because I, it was only one stream each and it was just like um, a quick whatever. Any disagreement? Like they weren't bad times. Maybe they're background noise tier. I don't know, but we didn't finish them, right? I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Also out of context, this will make the Nintendo fans really angry. And also they'll be like, what, what the hell? What do you mean? He likes Odyssey better? So there you go. All right. Oh man. Oh man, all right, I don't know what we're gonna do for this one. All right, let's get on the board and let's see. All right, so Doki Doki Lit Club. I think I think it's a wish I'd seen it live. I think Doki Doki Lit Club, I think that it was pretty good. I think people people liked it, right? I don't know if it was, I don't think, maybe it's great vegetables. Cha Doki Doki is not chaos, is it? My retina, yeah, we still quote my retinas. If it has an enduring meme to this day, is it is it automatically great vegetables? Oh man, maybe it is. 
Maybe it is. Maybe it is great vegetables. If, if it has, because great vegetables is an enduring meme itself. Maybe it is. We still say my retinas and it's stuck in my head, you know, and it was a short, short stream. It was over short and sweet. Eagles can fly. Yeah, we do the other one too. Eagles can fly. Yeah. I mean, worth the moon is still a meme. Oh, oh, stab through the heart. Glad it's not my leg. Chatter just made a good point. <laughs> I don't know. Shit. Shit. I don't want to put, I don't want to put RC in great vegetable. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's just, no, it's, it's from the stream. I was saying it on the stream. It's worth the moon. Doki Doki Lit Club in chaos. It wasn't chaos though. It wasn't a chaos stream. Chaos stream is like the music stream is a chaos stream. Getting over it is kind of a chaos stream. Cause we just, you guys debated me into playing it. I think you're giving reference too much weight. Do you think so? I think. Here's the problem. If Doki Doki Lit Club goes into Wish I'd Seen It Live, I think I want Stanley Parable to go down there too. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. This is hard. I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I want to live in a world where Stanley Parable is in Wish I'd Seen It Live tier. Wish I'd Seen It Live tier is still pretty good. You're ranking streams, not stream memes, but stream memes are an important part of our stream history. They're an enduring part of our legacy. Like in, to some extent, the stream memes are the streams. Like we haven't even gotten to the the can of worms that is did this did this stream have a good chan? What are we gonna do there? What then? Even that's gonna like throw a whole a whole wrench in, into it. Are we gonna have a no, new category? Had a good chan? Great chan below great vegetables? All right. Wish I'd seen it live. Oh. All right. Okay. You know what? Maybe this feels right. However, I reserve the right to to bump these up to great vegetables later. All right. Here we go. All right. Let's do it. Xenoblade Chronicles two. I, it's at least in gray vegetables. I think it's cream of the crop. I, I I I know. Yeah, I think it's cream of the crop. I think it has to be, right? How could it not be? Like, there's an emo in chat based from it. I mean, like, inspired by it. Lawyers. There are two. It's got to be cream of the crop. I think. I think what we have to really debate right now is: is it above Undertale as a stream? Oh man. Oh man. Let's get a poll going, please, mods. All right, it's definitely cream of the crop. That's that's for sure. Yeah, it's cream of the crop. Cream of the crop. <laughs> but is it better than Undertale? We'll do do the poll after this. Dragon's Den, we having fun? <laughs> Sony memes from, from Xenoblade Chronicles. Yeah, but memes are not the only factor. They are a big factor. Is it better than Undertale as a stream? Oh man, that's so hard. You know what? While we're waiting for the poll to expire, let's put let's put the Zelda thing as a mistake because like that was just like after a game event one night. Like I don't even remember it, but also we shouldn't have done it. Like that was that was stupid. Game events. Game events are basic. I think wish I'd seen it live because I think it has to be wish I'd seen it live because you can't watch them if you didn't watch them live because they can never go on YouTube because it's just trailer music, trailer music, trailer music, you know? So like it's, it's gotta be wish I'd seen it live. Maybe chaos because they are chaos. Do you think they're chaos? Game events are chaos. All right, let's put it in chaos and see if it fits as, as the time goes on. It's in chaos. All right. What was better stream? Xenoblade or Undertale haven't watched both. Really? Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is taking it over Undertale? Those were more... Okay, are you guys memeing? Like, come on, be ser this is a serious list. Oh my god, it's even winning harder now. New tier, meme status, below great vegetables. Let's see if we need it first. We might need it, but we'll see. I'm using my power. <sighs> Actual insanity, people haven't seen all the downtime in Xenoblade Chronicles. Yeah, isn't that right? It's true. It's true. Okay, well, it's the clear winner, but you know, good thing this isn't a democracy. Fuck you, it's my list. You can make your own list. All right, there you go. I hope you all put it in the cream of the crop on your list. Z Undertale. All right, hello, uh, for f <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, shit. Where's Hello Neighbor? Is it cream of the crop, great vegetables, or chaos? It's definitely in the top three. Fucking hell. It's cream and chaos? Cream of the crop, 100%. Really? I've had other YouTubers contact me saying, I don't know why, but I ended up watching your, your Hello Neighbor stream, and it was so fun to, to watch you lose your mind. <laughs> Like I said earlier, Total Biscuits showed up during the stream live. We didn't finish it. It was a marathon stream. It was just so... <sighs> 
I think maybe it's Chaos. Was Chaos not made for things like this in Hellboy? I think, I think Chaos, to, in my mind, Chaos was when things go insane with chat, not necessarily with the game. Oh, we have a really tough one coming up then. What the fuck is Jedi Fallen Order? Is Jedi Fallen Order Chaos? Because that was with the game. Whereas Hellpoint was Chaos with chat. I don't know, I don't know what Jedi Fallen Order is going to be then. All right. You know what? Controversial, controversial. It's either cream of the crop or chaos. I don't think it's great vegetables. I'm putting it in chaos and we'll see. I might move it over to cream of the crop later. All right, next one. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. All right, I think I think decent baseline and I think it was above as a stream, I think it was above all of them here. I think it's de decent baseline. It might be wish I'd seen it live. I think it's a relatively popular vod actually. So I think people people enjoyed it. I think decent baseline. It's cream of the crop. Rules of Nature is an enduring thing, but that's not enduring because of the streams. That's enduring because everyone who plays fucking Metal Gear Rising just has Rules of Nature in their head for the rest of their lives. I think decent baseline. Yeah, that feels right to me. That feels right. Anti-Chamber. Um, I think Anti-Chamber is... Uh, a mistake. <laughs> I remember getting mad at chat. I remember chat getting kind of insufferable. I think anti-chamber was a mistake. That was like, like, I barely remember it too. Um, chat and puzzle games do not go well together. Like, I enjoyed the game itself. It was decent. You know, it wasn't, wasn't my favorite, you know, game, but it was decent. Um, I think a lot of people don't, don't even realize I streamed that. I, th I think it's a mistake. Or, like, at best it's background noise. I don't think it's decent, decent, um decent baseline remember when you press your middle fingers on alt f4 and the game didn't even close what game was that was that hello neighbor i think i almost stopped watching because of anti why would i do because i tunneled on a puzzle you were like fuck this i don't want to watch this guy anymore holy shit speaking of mistakes is monster hunter on this i think monster hunter is on the list where is it it was around this time yeah there it is it's, it's on the it's on the top line all right there we go i think that was a mistake all right don't starve i don't remember playing don't starve on stream i think that was maybe it was shipwreck I love Don't Starve. I don't. Uh, yeah, I think that's def that's an easy. I don't remember streaming this. Sorry, Clay Games. Uh, Gora Goa, also hard mistake. Hard mistake. I remember chat being really insufferable about that. Even the YouTube vods are really insufferable about that. I'd have to watch that back and see if like apparently at one point in in that I was really stupid because I didn't realize something to do with the perspective switches. And I don't know. In my mind, it was Christmas Day. In Christmas Day, I remember like chat being like, "Oh, you're not getting this in in, in a nanosecond. Time to fucking just riff and post LLUJs in the chat." All right. So like, I think that was a mistake, but you know, puzzle games usually are a mistake, unfortunately. Maybe I got better as it, as it, as it went along. That was a solid stream. Do you think so? Was it was it background noise tier? Not on YouTube. It is on YouTube. Gorgo is on is on YouTube. I, I like the Gorgo stream. Really? Okay, maybe it's background noise tier then. Huh. Maybe that one moment like has made it worse than uh, than I think in my in my memory. All right. Getting over it. All right. Oh, man. All right. Let's put it in wish I'd seen it live getting over it was on the same day as the stream of Gorgo Goa and Chat got me to play it because Gorgo was over in like 90 minutes or something or two hours and then we started playing getting over it and I was very upset very upset you've ruined Christmas I think maybe it is a chaos game that was very very upsetting but we finished it and we did, like we came back on New Year's and finished it on New Year's, I think. And Lily was there for one of them too, and we finished it. And honestly, I ended up really enjoying it. I enjoyed getting over it. Is it chaos? It's below. Is it below Hello Neighbor? I think so. Yeah. I think I think chaos. Oh, Kate's being bossy. Should we switch the music over? By the way, should we go to the other one? Here we go. We're on we're on different music. Beginner's guide. Ooh. All right. Beginner's guide. Okay. I really enjoyed the Beginner's Guide stream because I really enjoyed the Beginner's Guide itself, but I don't know if that made it a good stream. I think, well, let's put it in decent baseline as a start. Okay, where's it going? Is it Wish I'd Seen It Live? It's definitely not Chaos. I don't think it's Cream of the Crop. It might be Great Vegetables. You know what? I'm moving up to Wish I'd Seen It Live. Is it Great Vegetables? Name one meme. It doesn't, memes don't have to make it, but memes are a factor, but they don't have to be present. Name one Chan. Now people are saying decent baseline. Oh, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. NL tier, wow, wow. Unrefined taste from this chatter. Dare I say you didn't get it? 
Can we get the DP whistle music or Persona 4 do do do? No, it'll get copyright claimed. I can't do that, sorry. I wish I could, it's a risk. I think bottom of what I wish I'd seen it live is fair. I don't know, I'm looking at this now and I'm like, was the beginner's guide really a better stream than Metal Gear Rising or Vengeance and Titanfall 2? I don't know about that. I re See, here's the thing, I really enjoyed the game. Like, 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 if it is a game, it has games in it, but I really enjoyed it. I thought it was, I thought it was pretty good. But does that make it, did that make it a good stream? I don't know. Let's leave it there. Let's leave it there. I think it's good. All right, Reseteer. Ooh. Ooh. All right, it's an easy wish I'd seen it live. I think it might be chaos. Cream of the crop? Oh man. I hear Oscar noms. I hear Oscar noms. Is it great vegetables? Buy my fucking statue. The, the, I bought it instead of selling it moment. Okay, it's great vegetables, yeah. It, it's better than Resident Evil 7 too. All right, is, is it, is it cream of the crop? You love this game. Hey, hey, this is the game list. This is the list where we mark the games. Okay. How do I? How do I make it so it's like, like all one line like it was before? Didn't finish. Lol. Didn't finish. Lol. Didn't finish. Lol. Um, Evil Within. I think. I think it's a six out of ten. Evil Within two. I think is a, is a three out of five. Three out of five. You know what? I think these need to be switched because three out of five is stronger. I think I think that's it. Near Tomina is a, is a, is a three out of five. Bruner and Hob I think are six out of tens. Shovel Knight's a six out of ten. Mario Odyssey is famously a six out of ten. Resident Evil Seven uh, I think it's a three out of five. I think it's a three out of five. Yeah, for sure. Isn't he better? No, I think Evil Within One's better than Evil Within Two. Q and A is not a game. Not a game. Zero out of ten. Hyperlight Drifter. Um, I think a six out of ten. Didn't finish. The this is the game list. Okay. Hat and Times didn't finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. So these are just the streams as they are for streams, okay? All right, we'll we'll refine this list later. I'm just I'm just shoving things in there, okay? Is okay. I'm sorry, Chatter. Are you really like like fussing over the fact that the Evil Within One is ahead of Nier Automata in this list right now? On this list, I just threw together. Are you that much of a Nier Automata stan that you just like, eagle-eyed like vomp? Where's Nier Automata on this list? Nier Automata acquired must be higher. Like, all right, let's let's keep going. All right, what were we at? What was the last one we put on? Reseteer. Reseteer is what we're on. Reseteer. Is Reseteer cream of the crop? Oh, man. It's definitely great vegetables. It's definitely great vegetables. What, what, what does the poll say? The poll says great vegetables, not cream of the crop. <sighs> How many of you were here for it? it it's, it's paining me. The Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is going to be above Reseteer, but I can't, I'm having trouble arguing with it. Yeah, it's great vegetables. It's great vegetables. There was downtime in the in the in the combat part. There was that weird like interim stream where Mario Odyssey video came out and it leaked like after it went out to patrons early and I had to like take it down in the middle of the stream and then people got mad at me because I didn't immediately release it live like on the stream and I said let me finish the stream before I I, I put it up like that was that was an awkward moment for me. I didn't know I didn't know how to handle that. People were coming in really, really angry. Now I guess question mark. Yeah, you don't remember that? Like, like during one of the the um, the rest of tier streams, um, the Odyssey video went up private um, to everyone on Patreon because that's what I used to do back then. Um, but I didn't have a really good system to get people on it. Um, later on, I think I, I used emails to uh, to get people to be able to view it, and then that became way too much work and and too hard to test. But before it was just a link that went out and just like, hey, just don't share the don't share the li the link. And of course, someone shared the link. Um, and that was the last time I ever did that. You only posted four streams on YouTube. A rest of tier, I think it was only a four stream game. The highlights of that are pretty good. Please tell me you don't have a Patreon anymore. I haven't had a Patreon for over a year now. Yeah, it's gone. I should bring it back for streams only just to piss everyone off. Terraria. Ooh, I think Terraria starts out as a decent baseline. I enjoyed the Terraria streams. I think chat did too. Chat was guiding me through Terraria as we played it. I don't know if it's if it was wish I'd seen it live. Background, I think background noise is a little too harsh for Terraria. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. I think it's decent baseline. I don't think it's wish I'd seen it live. It's possibly, possibly there. It's definitely not great vegetables. It's not, it's not chaos. And I think it's high up on the list. I think it might even be number one on this list. Decent baseline. Ooh, I don't know actually. It's above the Evil Within. It's somewhere around here. Do we have a single meme that that endured from Terraria? I don't think so. Standout moments. Um, going over to hard mode was a really fun moment. Making the, making the the elevator. Um, chat tricking me into getting killed by the skull person that came out of the the temple. That was fun. But really, it was just it was just a really good game. I think it was more of a good game than a good stream. I enjoyed my Terraria playthrough quite a bit actually. I'm surprised. Hating the die trade. I don't remember that. 
All right, that's that. All right, next one, Iconoclasts. All right, I do remember this. I do. So it's not, not even Jordan remember streaming this. I don't think it was a mistake. I think this is either background noise or I'd rather watch another Canadian stream Super Auto Pets. I, th I think, I think it's, I, I think it's Auto Pets tier. It was pretty boring, yeah. Not that the game was boring. I didn't even finish it. I'd like to at some point, but yeah, I, th I think it's, I think it's, it's down there. We didn't even do another stream of it. Yeah. Lisa. Oh man. All right. Where's Lisa? Lisa streams were pretty popular. I think let's put it in wish I'd seen it live and see if we need to move it up or down. I don't think it's, it's definitely not the cream of the crop. It's definitely not chaos. So is it great vegetables? Wish I'd seen it live or decent baseline. I don't know. Where's Celeste? Celeste? We haven't gotten to Celeste yet. These are in order. Lisa was baseline. Wish I'd seen it live at best. Yeah. I don't think it's great vegetables. Memorable moments. Um, welcome, welcome man with gun, which turned into welcome cat man. Like, so that endured a little bit. Sometimes I say that welcome. Um, I think that's the only enduring moment that became a, a stream thing. There was a time where we climbed up the rope in the game. That was pretty fun. Mm, I think chat enjoyed this game more than, than I did. I did enjoy it though. I remember accidentally calling a character Lisa that wasn't Lisa at the end of the stream, even though I did that. And a couple people in chat got really angry. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's decent baseline. Is it below? I think it's below Revengeance. Is it below Time? I oh, is it below Terraria? It's above Evil Then. I think it's below Terraria. That's it. Subnautica. All right, Subnautica. I think it's decent baseline or background noise. It's definitely not Wish I'd Seen It Live. It's decent baseline or background noise. Which is it? Remember, we're judging the stream, not the game. Standout moment was calling the the submarine to be fan sub. And also Merrick's comic of uh, me being very happy and like like Jack Skeleton, what is this? As the submarine um, flooded and crashed and sunk, that was fun. Um, but I think it's I think it's decent baseline. I think it's above. It's somewhere around here. High tier noise. Uh, do you think so? Is it not even decent baseline? Is there any way to watch those streams? I think some Naka streams are on YouTube. These two are going to have some overlap, I think. Doesn't ordering games in the tiers defeat the purpose of the tiers? No, it doesn't. Like within the tiers, it's like, okay, it's definitely in, it's definitely within this area, but like, okay, now that we have these grouped together, which is the, which is the best of this lot? I, I think it makes perfect sense. You stream Sonaka? I did stream Sonaka. Not only did I stream it, I streamed it. All right. Monster Hunter World. Easy mistake. Easy, easy, easy mistake. Easy mistake. How about we do a new, a new tier, a new tier, new tier. Um, dark purple. Shit, what was this? What was this color before? Cancel? What was the mistake tier before? What color was it? I can't remember what color color it was. It was dark blue. Yeah, that was it. Thank you, Shatter. All right, new new row, and we're gonna make this one um red again because we're running out of colors. Chat fucking ruined it for everyone. All right, Monster Hunter World. There you go. Done. Monster Hunter World. Chat was awful. Awful. You know what? I'm putting any chamber in there too. Uh, near should go in this. I don't think near should go in there. I don't, I remember chat being bad during near. I remember, I remember, and I think there's a, there's a, um, Nightbot shortcut on it. I distinctly remember during the near Thomas streams, like I couldn't figure out a quest and someone said something along the lines of, oh my God, this is like watching game grumps play live all over again and realizing that they suck at playing games because I didn't understand that when, when I was, it was a, it was a, a side quest where you have to test someone's video game. And I didn't realize when you had to test the video game that you actually had to look for like a glitch in order to break it. I thought I was just playing the game and it was like a mini, a little mini game. And it wasn't really clear to me if I played it now, maybe it would be clear now. I don't know. But then the chat went fucking off, off. Now it was one of my first streams. So maybe chat wasn't really that bad. Maybe it was just only like a, like a one guy or a two piece that was just like, like, I can't believe it. But I, I, I think that line was said during, during that. He still remembers that. Yeah, it was one of the first burns I received. So yeah, I still remember it. It fucked me off. I was like, what the fuck, man? I'm learning. I'm learning. You know what? I don't think anti-chamber is chat fucking rooted for everyone. I think, I think I was on my bullshit that day too. But maybe if I watch it back, I'd be like, no, chat really wasn't sufferable this day. All right. Ch chat definitely fucking ruined it for everyone in Monster Hunter World. That was really bad. That was really bad. You know what though? You know what? Spoilers, because it's taken so long. In the Witcher 1 video, I said there was a secret game 
that I will reveal as a surprise later that I will reveal that I played for the Witcher 3 video. And it was Monster Hunter World. And I am giving Monster Hunter World a 3 out of 5. I actually quite like the game now. I played it on my own. I played it a bunch. Monster Hunter World. You said I said it on Reddit under spoilers. I don't remember saying it on stream. Did I say it on stream? I didn't say it on stream, did I? There you go. Monster Hunter World, three out of better than Near Automata. Get fucked. <laughs> it's better than Evil Within. There you go. <laughs> uh, there you go. Done. I said play. I played it with Sarah and Wuggy. More Sarah than Wuggy. I think me and Wuggy did. Uh, we did one session. I think I did next an another two sessions with Sarah. Or maybe it was just maybe it was just one communal session. I can't remember. By the way, Celeste streams count for Farewell DLC, but Our Wilds will have separate entry for Echoes of the Eye. That fuck up is on me. No, I think it's good that they're those two are together and the other one's separate. It's fine. Yeah. All right. So that's it. Chat room for everyone. Monster Hunter World. How how long is the stream on right now? We're all, we're approaching two hours. Steam, why are you updating? Celeste. Celeste is next. All right. You know what? It's great vegetables. Is it cream of the crop? I don't know if it's cream of the crop. It had, it had a bad moment where I misunderstood a tutorial toward the end of the game. I know how that sounds. And it got kind of, it got kind of awkward. And also me and chat had a fight about a puzzle, which I still think I'm right about. I'm not stubborn, I'm right. We had a fight about it. I still think it's guesswork. I don't give a fuck. Skull versus, is it a skull or a cassette? It's still pretty funny that I endured. It doesn't really have any other memes apart from that, but we don't say that very much even actually. I don't know, is it cream of the crop? I think that as far as like, oh, let's watch Joe play a game and he's actually surprisingly not bad at it. I think Celeste is probably the best game that we've ever streamed for that. I don't know. It's decent based on, what? Wow. Decorative, yeah, decorative with the with the uh, the chapter system. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I think we have to. Sometimes Joe is actually good at a game counts for something. It happens so rarely. Decent base. Wow. All right, this this is this is gonna be really, really controversial. Really controversial. You know what? Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. I'm putting in great vegetables. It's in great vegetables. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. It's in great vegetables. My list, my rules, not the asshole. Great vegetables. Papers, please. All right. Does Papers, please have any enduring meme? I don't think so. The drugs moment was pretty funny. Drugs are funny. I'm really not feeling wish I'd seen it live. I think people were pretty excited for it. I liked the, the music. It was pretty good. Like as a game, it's 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 decent. I think I think it might be background noise. You say drugs a lot, to be fair. I don't think I say drugs that much at all, do I? What is this song? This song is made by Kusoro. I don't think it has a name. If it does have a name, I can never remember it. The other one is called Enter the Dragon's Den. This is Enter the Dragon's Den. And the other two do have names, but I don't know them. They're, my list, they were sent to me as Joe Mission, like an intermission kind of thing. Do, do 20 hours of no sleep, if I remember correctly. So this is 20 hours of no sleep, this one. And I don't know about the other one. The other one's this one. Do, 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 do. Let's do this one. All right, papers, please. I don't really remember the streams chat and that, that's probably a bad sign. I do remember playing it. I do remember talking to chat. I do remember looking at the, the stuff. I, I I think I'm putting in a background noise. I think it's gonna go below near Tomina. Sorry, that's not a judgment of the game. That's a judgment of the stream, okay? Shadow of the Colossus. You know what? Co controversial considering what we just did with papers, please. I think it's decent baseline. I think it's pretty low. We, it came out, we knocked the fucking game out. It was just like, here's a game, I know this game, let me talk about the game, boom, let's do it. I, I think it's decent baseline. It's whatever, you know what I mean? We just knocked the fuck out of the game. It was like the fifth time I'd ever played it, you know? Like, it was just, it's our bread and butter, you know what I mean? Bread and butter, just like, here's a game, we played it, done, you know? I think, I think that's it, you know? It was fine. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, all right. Why, do we even have to talk about it? It's cream of the crop. It's cream of the crop. Cream of the crop. <laughs> We're creaming. All right, Persona 5. Persona 5, cream of the crop. Is it above Undertale? Is it above Xenoblade Chronicles 2? I think it's definitely above Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which means to chat, it's definitely above Undertale. So it's my decision because chat thinks Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is above Undertale in cream of the crop. So is Persona 5 above Undertale? And you know what? I gotta say it's below Zen, no, it's, it's, it's above it. It's number one. It's number one for now. I think Persona 5 is above Undertale. It's the creamiest of the crop. Do we need a new category? Do we need creamiest? <laughs> you know what? I think we do need a new category. 
best stream and we will put it up there at the end. Best stream. That is the best stream, all right? And it will sit empty until we're completely done. What was the best stream, okay? And that needs to be blue because blue won the poll. All right, dark blue. All right, best stream. Which was the best stream? That will sit empty until the end. And I don't know, you would think that right now it would be Persona 5 and you'd be right, but <laughs> maybe, you know, even though it's the cream of the crop, maybe I like a different one better. That's on left. All right, there you go. All right, next one. Do we even need to talk? Oh, hold on, let's talk about Persona 5's legacy, all right? Like the, the emotes, the memes, useless is the most repeated meme here. It has endured for so long. Useless, fucking Makoto, Yusuke voice. Like Persona 5 Royal is probably the most anticipated game that we have left to stream. And we're just, we're just like holding it off as long as we can, holding it back. The music, it's not a game. Yeah, how we, how we completely like, um, like morph some of the different memes and so it's applicable for other things too. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's definitely the cream of the crop. It's number one for now. It's number one for now. Persona 5 gave your streams a special style, man. It was a defining event. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I think so too. The expelled, the highlights, PHP Trash's video in particular has like, I don't know, that has millions of views on YouTube. Millions. The Waffles name came from Undertale, but it, it endured. Waffles data pawn that, that, that made the data pawn chat upon thing happen. So much came from Persona 5. So much. I'm gonna sneeze. Jam Brett, yep. <laughs> Excuse me. It's fucking Yusuke. <laughs> In, in, in our swimsuit, we say that so much that a lot of people don't even realize it came from Persona 5. We say that almost every stream in our swimsuit. Persona 5. Holy shit. Cream of the crop. Cream of the crop. All right. There you go. Done. Done. I'm in my swimsuit almost every stream. Nice. Nice. All right. There you go. You know what? I'm starting to think maybe I was wrong that Persona 4 streams were better. When we get to Persona 4 streams and we go down in the, the, the memory lane of Persona 4, Oh man, the Persona 4 stream is so good too. Holy shit, those were the best streams. Oh man, that's gonna be so hard. Fuck. Wait for Persona 3, Persona 3 is gonna suck. What are you talking about? There's no way. Do All right, next one. Doom. All right, this is not Doom Eternal. This is 2016 Doom. I think this goes in the decent baseline, but I think it's like top. The Doom streams were decent. They were fun. I think they were good, decent baseline, riffing with chat. Here we go. Like, just, just back and forth. No really enduring moments or enduring streams or whatever, uh, or memes or whatever, but it was it was a fun time. I, I think it's baseline, you know? I think Doom Eternal, controversial, is also going to be in baseline just above Doom. Maybe I wish I'd seen it like, ah, I don't know. Was it like, was it like that, that worth it? I don't know. Like, I feel like I played Doom Eternal quite well. Now I'm thinking maybe Doom has to go further back or maybe into background noise. Maybe Doom Eternal- Maybe I'm conflating Doom Eternal and Doom 2016. Maybe it is background noise. But then these have to- Well, okay. These are up here. Cuphead and Shovel Knight are up here because we're, we're factoring in how early this was in the stream career, right? Like, for how shit I was at streaming, you know, these were decent, right? If, if I streamed like this now, it would be like, Mustake, what the fuck am I even doing? You know what I mean? It's gotta be. Hmm. Let's leave it. It's fine. God of War trilogy. Um, I think I think background noise. I think it's an easy background noise. Or I'd rather watch another Canadian stream Super Auto Pets. It was mostly just so we could play 2018. Like it was it was an informative set of streams. Let's just get through it so we all have context for for 2018. So I think I think background noise. Remember Poseidon? Oh, Poseidon was really funny. I think it's high up on the background noise. Then it's above near Automata. Is it decent baseline? And apparently you didn't play on harder. So <laughs> yeah, I remember. Above near, yeah, the near stream kind of sucked, bro. Like it did, it did. I'm calling people bro a lot lately. I don't know why. I'm back on my bro bullshit. It did, it did. The near, no, the near game didn't suck. The near streams kind of sucked. Like I didn't know what I was doing. Like for the time, I think I handled it quite well. You know, I was adapting. But, you know, if I streamed it now, I think it would be much better. I'm talking about the streams. God of War was slightly more boring. Do you really think so? Oh, man. God of War 1 was pretty... This is the trilogy, all right? If it was God of War 1, I think God of War 1 would be really low on the list. Because God of War 1 was pretty bad. Um, God of War 2 and 3... 3 is... 3 was really good. Okay, I'll give... I'll give the weebs a bone. I'll put it below Neotomata. All right? For the record, I'm mostly yanking a chain. <laughs> they were okay streams. 
do, do. Okay, I've thrown the weebs a bone. All right, God of War Ragnarok. All right, I think it's I wish I'd seen it live. I think there were some really good moments interacting with the game. I think that the video is also popular. I think that it was a hype release too and experiencing it like communally on the stream might have been a good way of like of experiencing game of the year that year for a lot of people. It wasn't game of the year for me, but it was up there. That's what, did I say Ragnarok? I'm sorry, I know it's 2018. In my mind, as I've been talking about it, I've been talking about it as if it's 2018. I just said Ragnarok because I'm an idiot. I know it's 2018, sorry. Yeah, God of War 2018. I think it's a wish I'd seen it live. Not only do I think it's a wish I'd seen it live, I think it's number one. I think it's more hype than than Doki Doki is selling parable. It's definitely more hype than Mario Odyssey playthrough for for the uh, for the um, for the video. I think it's number one. No way it's above Stanley. I disagree, Chatter. I'm sorry. Human Child. I think it had some moments. The beginner's guide is so good though. I think it's a good good experience. I don't know if it was a good stream. The plot sickness thing was fun. Yeah, and we had we, the highlights are from it are pretty good, which means it was some pretty good interaction with chat. Yeah. I think I think it's I think it's wish I'd seen it live. Yep. Yep. I feel strongly about that. Dark Souls. This was a mistake. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Chat ruined it for everyone. You know how chat ruined it for everyone? Chat ruined it for everyone by making me read subs and sub messages for two hours in Undeadburg, okay? Chat ruined it for everyone. Except for me, because I got paid. Alright? Easy chat ruined it for everyone. When the fuck did you stream Dark Souls? Like the first time after coming back from a break, we streamed Dark Souls for a stream. And we never we had only even think we got past Blight Town. <laughs> was it the remake? Yeah, it was the remake, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember doing anything in that game other than reading subs. Moonlighter. Um, I don't remember streaming Moonlighter. Is this gonna be the most the most recent? I don't remember streaming it of the list. I don't remember streaming it at all. I have no memory. Is is this a mistake? Did I actually stream Moonlighter? I, I got nothing else to say about it. I just I just don't remember it. I've played it on my own since then. It's okay. Yeah, I think I think that's it. Let's just let's just move on. All right. Uh, we at two hours. We are. All right. Uh, I don't need to pee, but usually we try and take a, two, uh, a, a break at two hours. Um, we are <laughs> halfway through the list. Oh man. All right. Well, I hope you're enjoying this. Do do. We good? All right. We are good. I think that House Flipper is an easy, easy background noise. I would put it in. I'd rather watch another Canadian stream Super Auto Pets. However, it was the first stream back since we moved to Moncton, and I think that some people were like there for it, and they were like, "Oh, hey, it's Joe. Like, let's let's talk, and like, it's 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 nice to have a stream after so long." I think it's background noise. Like, it was borderline Q and A actually. Is House Flippers the, where Over the Range is from? Yeah, that's where it's from. It has that one enduring story, yeah. It's definitely above Gorgoa. It's definitely above Stardew Valley. Above There Are Billions. Neo, Hyper, uh, Papers, I think it's around here. You moved back to that hellhole? No, we moved to here the first time. We only moved to Moncton once, and we've been stuck here ever since. Over the Range is one of my favorite stream memes, and I could not tell you why. <laughs> is it because it's fun to say, Over the Range? Wuggy not, Wuggy not says, I love pee hole though. I know, but like the one from the game, you mean? You like that one too? <laughs> he doesn't need a hole for, in the, in the, uh, in the bathroom for your pee. <laughs> What's the over the range meme? The over the range meme is when we moved to Moncton, um, we did not have a microwave because we took, we, we didn't bring all of our stuff with us from Toronto to Moncton because it, it was, uh, some of it was too expensive to move. So we, uh, we bought a microwave within the first couple of weeks of moving here. So I went to Best Buy to get a microwave and I'm talking to the guy and I'm like, what kind of, what kind of microwave would you recommend? So he pointed at one there and I'm like, okay, that, that looks pretty good. I don't know anything about microwaves. I'll just get that one. It looked nice. And then he looked at me and said, so this is over the range. You know that, right? And I was like, yeah, like, yeah, I know over the range. Over the, Yeah, it's over the range. I'm over the range myself. Like, it's it's fine. And not knowing what that meant at all. I thought that just meant this microwave is just a really great microwave. It's over the range. You know, like, here we go. Great. <laughs> so, like, I get it. I get it home and open it up and I'm like, 
Oh shit, so if you don't know what it means, like I didn't, over the range means it, it goes above your stove. Like it gets slotted into, like your range is above your stove. Like um, not all stoves have it, but it's like kind of like where that like um, uh, roof with the with the light is. And there's like a vent to ventilate your uh, your shit while, you, while you're using your stove. Um, so it goes above um above that now you could probably still use it on the counter if you really wanted to but we were scared to do that so uh we didn't have a microwave for another couple weeks because we had to call someone in to install it over the range because there was no fucking way i was doing that and risking it so um yeah so that's the that's the over the range uh story and sometimes i will say th that's over the range meaning that it was a good thing making fun of myself <sighs> streets ahead why not just return it i could have but like i was embarrassed <laughs> Why, why, why return something when I can just go another three weeks without a microwave and then have it installed? <laughs> and now I really like having an overrange uh, microwave because it, it saves on counter space. It's the solar panels of uh, of Best Buy shopping. Anyway, uh, pray, pray moon crash. Okay, so uh, is it background noise or is it I'd rather watch another another streamer? I like the concept of it. I think the streams were kind of boring. However, standout moment of Prey Moon Crash, okay, was a chatter legitimately got me with, are you gonna play Ligma? Or was it Bofa? I think it was Bofa. They legit got me with a Ligma or a Bofa. Like, I wasn't playing it for the bit. They legit got me. I was like, what's Bofa? Just for that, it's great vegetables, right? <sighs> I remember playing this in the room upstairs. It's now uh, the girls' room because when I played this, the girls didn't exist. Um, that was my first office. Almost every room in this house has been my office at one point. <laughs> um, I remember playing it. I remember having a good time. I remember riffing with chat. It was not it was not a bad time. Maybe maybe it's background noise. Maybe we're not gonna have another one of these auto pet ones because because we got good enough for most streams to be background noise by then. I think it's better than the house flipper stream too. You know what? I'm putting it here. I'm warming up on to uh, up to it rapidly as time goes on. You have several girls now. We have two daughters. Better than Evil Within IMO? Ooh, that's a take. Do you think so? Am I over ranking these because it was so early on in the stream career that I'm giving them too much credit? Do you think it goes all the way up here? Ooh, that makes decent baseline have two rows now. You know what? You've convinced me. There we go. Is that Danganronpa? It looks like it. Is it Danganronpa 1, 2, and 3? No, there's two. There's, okay, Danganronpa. Well, it's at least great vegetables. It's at least great vegetables. I think it's cream of the crop, isn't it? It's gotta be. It's got to be cream of the crop. How could it not be cream of the crop? Chat ruined it. <laughs> I think all three of the Danganronpa games are cream of the crop. Where we're ranking them as streams is another question entirely. I think it's cream of the crop. Should we talk about them all together? I think we should. Danganronpa 1, Danganronpa 2, Danganronpa V3. All right. Okay, all right, here we go. They're all cream of the crop. They gotta be, they gotta be. I think I think they're comfortably below Persona 5. Are they above Undertale is the question. All right, so what is the legacy of Danganronpa? Hey, hey, well, like there's a lot of legacy. There's a lot of great moments. Sprinklers as well was the big fight. Was that the only big fight we had? Nah, yeah, the whole Himiko thing. I think too, not only is two the best game, I think two is the best stream. The, the payoff, of 11037 was incredible. So many happy accidents. I, th I think number two, Nagito voice, Nagito in general, like like the reaction to the the um the fourth trial was it? I think I think it was the fourth one or was it the fifth one? Wh whichever one is the best one. Really really good moment. Like I know that's that's giving the game credit, but it was also really really good. The whole Mikan thing, calling her a nurse was really good too. Um. Makoto, you don't have any legs. You know, like a lot of it is coming back to me. I think two is number one, but what's number two? Is it three or one? You know what? I think in this time, I leveled up my streaming quite a bit. I think number one was the worst stream. I, I, I don't think it was a bad stream, but I think of the three, I think it was the worst stream. It's still cream of the crop. Now, standout moments, definitely two. Standout moments between three and one. I think three has more. One has a lot of strength for concept. Yeah, I think, I think for sure. I think for sure. All right, but where are they relative to the rest? Okay, I think two. I think it's number two. I, th I think it's above Undertale. I don't think it's above Persona 5. I think it's above Undertale. Danganronpa V3, 
it's it's comfortably above Xandler Chronicles 2 for me, and so is Danganronpa 1. Definitely. Is it above Undertale? I don't know about that. I really like the Undertale streams. I know that chat disagrees because Xandler Chronicles 2 is above it for me. You know what? I think V3 is above it. I think V3 is above it, man. I'm sorry, Undertale. Is Danganronpa 1 above it? I think it is. I, I, I'm stunned. I think it is. I'm sorry. I think it is. The cream is rising. The cream of the crop is rising. I think it is. I, this is my cream my cream ranking right now. I, I've just this moment decided that there could only be five games in the cream of the crop. So Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is... But <laughs> <laughs> look at the Danganronpa block. Uh, yeah, Chatter, you're right. Damn, look at it. Look at it. Look at the poll. What's the poll? Oh, this is the... Uh, something is pinned. I don't see the poll right now. I don't think there's anything left to say, is there? The, the, the Danganronpa streams speak for themselves. V3 had... Like we still sometimes, was it once a month we quote and not show you my ex saw trick? Like that comes up, nah, Himiko voice is surprisingly enduring, although it's been going down a little bit. That's a, that's a lie is from, is, uh, is from Danganronpa 2. We did so many Nagito voices as time went on for different characters, although that has kind of fallen out of, uh, of, um, of fashion a little bit. I don't know if we, cause Gumshoe was Nagito voice too, right? It's a little hard for me to do the Nagito voice now. I don't know if it's gotten a little too gravelly. The shot put ball killer. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know what? That's a good point. Never mind. V3, chat fucking ruined it for everyone. There you go. All right, done. Now we have five. All right, done. All right, good. We're good. All right, so there we go. Danganronpa 2, Danganronpa 1. Nah, chat was pretty bad about that, but you know what? I don't think chat ruined it. I'm putting, I'm putting it up here. It was a good time. The shot put ball killer is a very, very, very dear meme to me, and I like saying it a lot. So that almost edges out Danganronpa 2, actually, but I think Chiaki and Nagito carry. I think they carry. Yeah, all right, that's it. I think I think that's it. Great streams. Great streams. All right, Two Point Hospital. I do not remember streaming this. Done. The Messenger. You know what? Decent baseline. It's a fun uh, um, game that we just ripped through. It was... People were surprised at how good it was. So we we're like, oh shit, this is actually pretty funny. It got some laughs out of us. I think decent baseline. You know what? I think I think above Terraria. Maybe even above Titanfall 2, but I'm not comfortable doing that just yet. Messenger was actually surprisingly a good time. Decent baseline. Bayonetta. Um man, it kind of sucks putting Bayonetta really below the uh, Rising Revengeance, because I really like Bayonetta. But I kind of feel like it's background noise tier. I don't remember. I don't think the the Bayonetta streams were as fun as the the Revengeance ones. I think it's background noise tier, man. I think it's high background noise tier though. I had fun doing that. Spider Man. Uh, chat fucking. <laughs> um, honestly, forgot I streamed it. <laughs> Did I really stream Spider Man? I remember someone getting mad at me when I was I went to the windows in that game. And every single window in that game in, in a building or most of them have like a a fake kind of interior that you can see if you go up close to it. And they the dimensions don't match the window and it looks really bad if you look at it closely. And I remember saying like I admire technology, but I wish they just hadn't fucking bothered. And someone really didn't like that. <laughs> they were really mad. The polygon boat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The stealth mode. Oh, the stealth mode was pretty funny. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's background noise now. There was some funny, funny laughs from the uh, from the Spider-Man one. Yakuza bet for Spider-Man. Yeah, I remember that. Yep. You know what? That elevates it at least a little bit. I think it elevates it to to background noise. We'll put it above. Uh, we'll put it above Neo. There you go. It elevates it to background noise. Why not? Until dawn. Oh, this is gonna be a hard one. All right. I I actually really enjoyed the until dawn stream. But is it great vegetables? Cre You're insane. It's not cream. Ma oh, Matt. It's such an enduring meme. Oh shit. Oh shit. Maybe it is great vegetables. Boom, butterfly. Fa oh, that's it. Yep, it's great vegetables for sure. Is it above rest of tier? Maybe it is. Until Dawn was a funny, funny set of streams. Matt, butter boom, butterfly effect. The morbing. No, what, really? The morbing that went on there. Play the quarry. Rest of tier is too good. Oh, are you disagreeing that, that it shouldn't be above rest of tier, it but it's in great vegetables? Is it above Resident Evil? Oh, I don't know, man. By my statue. How often do we say by my statue? And how often do I say Matt? When we hear a growling in a cave, which happens surprisingly often. <laughs> Until Don had the murder considering his actions on the pause. Yeah, that was really funny too. <laughs> Wait, am I? Wait, why the kill? 
いや早い<笑>うん、あれ、OK、you know, I'll give it to Resetir. Resetir was pretty, was pretty great. Is it above Resident Evil, though? I don't think it is. I'm putting it in low great vegetables. It's put it, it's below great ve、uh, Resident Evil 7 below and great vegetables. I'm hemming and hawing about putting it until I wish I'd. No, it's definitely better than 2018. It was a better stream than that. Silent Hill. Oh my god. Silent Hill 1, I think. Background noise or decent baseline? Like, it's an old game. We went through it. We saw what it was about. It was, Silent Hill 1 was fine. I don't think Silent Hill Silent Hill 1 was a problem. I think I'm gonna, like, it's it's it, around Shadow of Colossus. That's a great place to put it. Like, above or below Shadow of Colossus, I think. Maybe it was a new game for me, so it was more interesting. So I think it's above Shadow of Colossus. It was fine. We got through it. Like, we saw what it was all about. I think, I think that's it. All right. Silent Hill 2. Surprisingly, I don't think chat ruined it for fucking everyone. I think what happened after the stream wasn't really chat, to be honest. Like, chat was fine. Like, if you go back and watch chat, like at the end of Silent Hill 2, there's some back and forth and we talk about it, but chat was pretty, pretty okay during that. I don't remember getting angry at chat. I don't think it was a mistake either. I'm glad that, that, I, that I streamed it. It's fine. Like, I, I don't think it's a great game, but that doesn't mean it was a mistake to play it. I'd rather watch it. Okay, for the meme potential, I think it should go there. I'd rather watch another stream and place your off. <laughs> I think it has to go there. There's, it's just too perfect. It has to go there. Oh. I just saw Silent Hill 2 streams and chat was pretty bad. I am open and seen a buggy. Oh, was it, was it like、uh, the rare time when、um, chat was being insufferable, but I didn't mind? Hmm. Maybe. Like, Silent Hill 2 gave us、uh, red, red Square Chan. Was Silent Hill 2 the beginning of the absurd Chan Chanification? The, the absurdist Chan movement? Was, it was around that time, right? So, Silent Hill 2 has, has some props for that. My opinion on Silent Hill 2 is that it, it, is, an, it is an okay to good game. It's like around a, it's around a 6 out of 10, unironically. I know that's a meme around here, but it's around a 6 out of 10. Like, the ending was kind of eh, and I think it's overloved because people played it when it first came out, and it was like, it had more of a wow factor because game, storytelling in games has always been kind of bad, but it was even more abysmal back then, although there were some standouts. Like, Silent Hill 2 today doesn't stand out as very special to me, and it's a very much a like, 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 oh my god, please read a fucking book tier. You know, like, like this isn't that stunning. For even for a game at the time, it was probably pretty good, but I can't judge it for at the time because I didn't play it back then. Like, now, it's like, eh, it's fine. I like the atmosphere and I really, really liked the、um, the line when she says, oh, you see it too. For me, it's always like this. I would have loved it if they went harder on that area. That was really good. Joe putting all the anger. I'm not. This, this is how I feel. I'm sorry. Deadly Premonition or Silent Hill 2? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Deadly Premonition is way better. I don't know why, but Deadly Premonition surrealism worked on me. But for Silent Hill 2, a lot of it really pissed me off. The,、um, the part where you find light bulbs in, in a tin can, I feel like it didn't earn that level of things are completely fucked up here. I feel like it, it, it came kind of out of nowhere. Earn? Jesus. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with saying earn? Like, I'm not saying earn like, like it has to like,、um, uh, win me over. I mean, it didn't develop it enough. Like, Deadly Premonition establishes very early on that things are going to be very, very surreal. And Silent Hill 2 is definitely playing with some surreal vibes for a lot of it, especially when you're going through different、um, areas and transitions. But then it just it kind of felt like out of nowhere, oh, here's some fucking light bulbs in a can. And it was like, wait, what? Like, so it didn't really work for me. Silent Hill 2 failed to set expectations properly, unlike a deadly premonition. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. The man will not stop. People are sensitive about this, man. What the hell? Let's move on. I have no mouth, and I'm, but I'm a scream. And I'm a, and I'm a scream. I can't remember exactly what the title is.、Um, better as a, as a red story than a game? Hot take? No. I don't know. I remember streaming it. I don't remember really liking it all that much. Was it a mistake? Oh. Ah.、Uh. I don't know. Was it, was it a mistake? Was it background noise? NL tier? Was it? Maybe. Why are you saying NL? This could be any other Canadian streamer. What are you talking about? Yeah, I think I agree though. I don't think it was a very good stream, to be honest, but I don't think it was, it was quite a mistake. I don't think this stream went, went very, very well. I think it was definitely better than Icon Class. We finished it, so it's probably above Hotline Miami. I think it's around there. Yeah. Alien Isolation. Oh man, I think this was a mistake. <laughs> I 
or chat fucking ruined it for everyone. Oh man. Dr. Lingard. All right, Dr. Lingard was the standout moment. Game was way too fucking long and even Alien, Alien Isolation and Horror Game Enjoyers, we can all agree that Alien Isolation is like, like fucking six hours too long, right? Game's way too fucking long. It's a mistake for me to play these games because unless there's like a really good story, which there wasn't, or really good combat slash gameplay, which there wasn't, um, then it's just not for me, man. Like, I'm not gonna get scared. I'm not gonna feel feel, feel, uh, feel the atmosphere. I did watch Mandalore's video on this game recently, and I don't know if I said this on stream. I don't think I did. This doesn't seem like an observation I would make, but if I did, then props to pass me. He pointed out that instead of, instead of them trying to make a futuristic setting, they made a futuristic setting based on the movies themselves and really took that and ran with it. And... That was a really cool part of of the game, I think, that maybe I under underappreciate it. But maybe maybe I did um, pick up on it when I played. I can't really remember. Um, I really do like that part of the game. Um, I also like the Dr. Lingard meme. I'm glad I played it. So I don't, nah, it's not a mistake. I'm glad I played it. I'm also glad that I got to feel out my take on horror games a little bit more through this game. That was like, I think Alien Isolation was the real beginning of what became the horror games video which of course was not a mistake at all um i really enjoyed feeling feel, like really nailing down my thoughts on the whole entire genre i also really 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 enjoyed pissing off chat by killing every single person i possibly could with the wrench at the beginning of the game <laughs> you're i'm not trapped in here with you you know like um I, I enjoyed that. So maybe it's not a mistake. Maybe it's background noise. It was kind of boring. I think maybe above, not, it, no, let's put it up here. I think background noise. Red, Red, Red Dead Redemption 2, definitely a mistake. So the mistake here was not playing it for longer. I should have finished Red Dead Redemption 2. Not necessarily did everything in the open world. Um, had some standout moments. Guy getting kicked in the head. Really, really funny. Um, the marriage sheep. <laughs> Uh, that was that was pretty good. Um, that's about it actually. Running into the street, running into the tree. Yeah. Um, but I think it was a mistake not to stream it more and to only do a quick stream of it. So it's going in the mistake tier. Lost opportunity uh, tier. Can you switch to Firefox real quick? No, I can't. No, I can't do that. So I think that's it for Red Dead Redemption Two. Ashen. Um, I don't really remember streaming Ashen. Oh, I kind of just did now. Okay, it's coming back to me. Ashen, I think, I think Ashen is hardcore background noise. It's background noise core. Is it above Alien Isolation? I think maybe it is. Definitely background noise. Just kind of messing around. I don't know if we had any good bants during the, um, during Ashen or not. Where down here is it, is it a mistake? Is it, is it a high tier mistake? Is it better to be lower on the list here? You know what? Let's not rank the mistake, the mistake tier. I don't know. Um, Grease or Gris. Gree. Ooh, I don't know. Like, it wasn't, I think maybe decent baseline. Like it was, it was really short. We got through it. It's like, hey, we did it. We had some fun, got in, saw what it was all about, got out. And I think that's, again, it's bread and, it's bread and butter, man. I don't really remember any big standout moments apart from the art, which was gorgeous. So I think maybe it's decent, but I think it's low decent. I think it's definitely, it's around Cuphead. Let's put it one step above Cuphead because we are, we are, um, we're further on to the streaming career. Let's do it there. All right, that's that. All right, below, uh, mistake. Yeah, easy mistake. We only streamed it once. It was kind of boring. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, you know, click with the game that much at all. It didn't even run all that well. It looked kind of cool. I've always wanted to go back and give it another chance, but I didn't finish it. I never played it again afterwards. I do remember streaming it though. Um, I remember it took me a long time to die. And when I did die, I was really annoyed because it was like, I got a bleed on me and I didn't know how to stop the bleeding because the game doesn't really teach you anything at all. And that's part of its charm. Below is kind of like hardcore tunic. <laughs> Um, without the big gimmick that Tunic has, if you've played it, you've played it, I guess. If you've played it, you know. Maybe Below does have a gimmick like that as, as later on, but it's kind of like hardcore Tunic. It's it's Darkest Dungeon Tunic. There you go. But yeah. Uh, Path of Exile. Um, mistake? Yeah? Easy. <laughs> Man, we were just racking up the mistakes, huh? Mistakes, mistakes, mistakes. All right. 
Mustake for sure. Path of Exile. Even playing it off stream is a Mustake. You know? Yeah. Big mistake. Path of Exile, man. I don't remember a single stand-up moment from that. It was just kind of playing it. I think it was more like a glorified um, Q&A, to be honest. Yeah. It gets good after red maps. After red maps. After red maps. Okay. Literally playing Path of Exile on my second monitor as he's saying this. Yeah, and you know you know everything I'm talking about. Uh, Path of Exile enjoys. What the fuck is a Krangled tree? What, what are they doing right now? I've played a lot of Path of Exile since that stream, by the way. I, I know it. I understand it a lot more now, but I'm still not a pro by any means. The tree is randomized. Oh, that's interesting. Is it randomized for everyone? You can't see it before you're near. That sounds awful. <laughs> if, you, if you explore the tree and then refund the points does it turn into something else afterwards or can, do you have to explore the tree to see where everything else everything is it's the same for everyone oh god exploration well can't communally can't you just all figure out what the, the tree is then but it's different okay well, never mind i i i, I let, let's move on dusk all right dusk you know what i think it's i think it's high baseline I think the Dusk streams are pretty good. I think it's above Doom. I think it's new number one spot in this decent baseline. I think I think the Dusk streams are pretty good. Wish I seen a lot. Oh, 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 okay. A challenger. Challenger. Do you really think it's Wish I'd Seen It Live? Were the Dusk streams that good? Hmm. I genuinely had no idea you played 90% of these and I've been around for a while. Yeah, I, I've streamed a lot, yeah. I still eagerly await the second half of the, those released to YouTube as they uh, are now lost. Oh, I th they never went up? Oh shit, I can I could probably publish them right now. <laughs> I think they've been uploaded for forever. <laughs> I just didn't get published. I don't know if they have chat or not. One day you're gonna wake up to like a hundred uploads. Do you know that? <laughs> the entirety of place, uh, place the entirety of uh, persona 4 is gonna go up on one day <laughs> it's gonna be like wait what the fuck anyway um dusk you know what let's put it wish i'd seen it live because you can't watch it otherwise <laughs> number number one there you go boom into the breach all right i love into the breach but it's background noise for sure like come on right it's got to be i don't think it's anything higher unless did people enjoy did you enjoy me working through that i think it's background noise i think if you really enjoyed those streams you were there for it and we were like debating what the best move was and everything but i i think that's pretty rare among chat so i think i think it's background noise all right ftl i think ftl um surprisingly didn't FTL get a little hype? Didn't we get like, didn't we get like a good run going pretty early on and we and we beat the flagship and we were like, oh shit, this is actually kind of fun. Maybe it was decent, which is weird because to me, Into the Breach is by far the better game. Blobber, oh, Blobbert, yeah. We had some sexy wuggy art on that one. We had Scree Scree. I think, I think FTL made a better stream than Into the Breach did. Into the Breach sucks in percent to FTL. Are you high? Are you kidding? Into the Breach is by far the superior game to FTL. Not even close. These games are entire 6 out of 10s apart. FTL, I think, you know what? I'm putting it above Lisa. I'm putting it above Subnautica. There you go. FTL. Decent baseline. Blobbert, Scree Scree, Swamps. I still think about Swamps. And we beat it too, which was fun. We got lucky with lasers and shit though, don't get me wrong. But, you know, getting lucky in FTL is the game. Catherine. Alright, where was Catherine? I think it's Wish I'd Seen It Live, at least. Is it Great Vegetables? Were the Catherine streams hype? I don't know. These are not my favorite weave games that we streamed, but I'm not sure. Edge and Undo. Edge and Undo are enduring chans. Yep. They're really good. Had a succubus in it, but I'm trying to keep my bias out of this. High Seen It Live. I think it was definitely... Okay, it was definitely more enjoyable than Dusk. Chaos is kind of its own tier. Was it more enjoyable than Until Dawn? How do we have more cream of the crop than Great Vegetables? The, yeah, this is dumb. All right, it's going in Great Vegetables. We shouldn't have more. I guess Danganronpa being three games is kind of kind of conflating it or inflating it a little bit. Catherine, better than Resident Evil. Okay, is it better than Rest of Tier? You put Duskway to Do you think so? We're going to be second guessing everything right now. Catherine, vegetables live or lower? All right, it seems like vegetables has it. Inflated vegetables. I think... 2018 had more hype. Stanley Parable. Fine. I'm putting it there. There you go. That's where Dusk is going. Catherine had Undo Chan and Edge Chan. The gameplay was actually kind of fun. I enjoyed the gameplay. Story was really interesting. I know this is sudden. Has endured. I'm happy with this placement. And it seems that Chad is too. Because Vegetables is winning. Alright. This song is louder than the others. Okay, I can turn it down. Next game. 
Resident Evil 2. Oh man. All right. You know what? Hot take. I think I think maybe all the Resident Evil stream uh, Evil games except for three are in great vegetables. I I really enjoy stream Resident Evil, and I think that comes through. I think that I have a good chat interaction. I'm in a good flow state when I'm playing a Resident Evil game. I don't know why. For whatever reason, I think that when when we're on Resident Evil, we're like above our decent baseline. I, I really think that that it's um they're good streams. Didn't like them because the games were boring to me. And Resident Evil 2 isn't as good as 8, that's for sure. Yeah, that is true. But you know, it could go. <sighs> You're convincing me. It could go lower in the great vegetables. Wish I'd seen it live. It does feel home there, doesn't it? Until Dawn had more moments. Can I name it? Can I name even a single funny moment for Resident Evil 2? All right, you can't come in this room. He's not allowed in this room. Running up and down the whole the whole Benny Hill ladder sequence with with Leon in in the, the beginning of the police station. That was really funny. Like like learning the zombies get leash that that leash around different parts of the level. That was pretty funny. Was there any part after that though that came anywhere close to that? Honestly, I, I can't really remember the ending of those streams. Wish I'd seen it live one one in the poll. Now it's gonna look like I'm just going with chat, but I think it's I think it's right. I can't think of anything else that happened after that. And I barely remember Claire's route either. Yeah, it's gotta be. It's gotta be, yeah. It's gotta be. Slay the Spire. Alright. Easiest wish I'd seen it live in my life. Slay the Spire streams were banging. We played it for just the perfect amount of time too. Maybe even great vegetables. Gotta say. Like we kicked that game's ass. Remember, we even had the uh, we even had the the chat interaction where chat picks the cards at one point, and you all like revealed that I'm better than you because when you were doing all the decisions, we lost, but when it was me, I won. So bandage chant, bandage chant, and bomb chant. You know what? It's great vegetables. What are we doing? It's great vegetables. All right, is where is it in great vegetables though? It's definitely above until dawn. Is it above Catherine? You get to choose. Slay the spire was surprisingly fun, but also if we had played it longer. It would have outstayed its welcome, so we played it the right amount of streams. I think it was what, like four or five streams. Things went well. Remember, like the 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 banger Merrick fan art with um with the armor and the bombs, <laughs> the panic button. <laughs> yeah, those are pretty good. All right, I I'm I'm happy with this placement. You know what? So this part is surprisingly great. Maybe we should we should go back to it now and then. But um, like I've played a couple times off stream and I'm pretty bad at it. I'm better on stream. Portal. All right, Portal One and Portal Two are a package deal. All right, they're definitely they're definitely decent baseline. Both of them. I think they both go together. Definitely decent baseline. All right, did they go higher than that though? I think they were fine streams. I don't think that they were like oh my god, super fucking high. I think I think they're just fine streams. Are they? like the top of decent baseline though i think so i think we got through them pretty good we got to experience the game was pretty fun yeah i think so i think they're up here and portal 2 i think was better than portal 1 for for the streams i think they're there yeah for sure decent i feel good about this i don't think there were any good enduring moments or memes from portal 2 and portal 1 that weren't you know the game itself everyone knows these games it was just you know we're just showing up we're just playing the game we're having a good time we're riffing we're talking about it as we go through i think that's it great to hear your opinion on portal games yeah i got to do a, a little bit of live game design talk you know or game design uh game critic talk holy shit i shouldn't have said game design talk who the fuck am i um game critic talk you know so it was fun yeah i think that's good no need to say any more about it war groove completely forgot i played this I don't remember playing this at all, apart from now a little bit's coming back to me with like going through some forest level. This stream sucks. <laughs> <I don't... laughs> this might be the most forgettable stream that ever happened was with Wargroove. Oh man. Wasn't there a bag chan though? Merrick, didn't you do some, you chanified a bag or something or a backpack or something like that? Like, what was that? I don't remember this now. Does someone have that? In, in Dragon's Den? <laughs> the huge, huge mech with, with, the, with the slime. Oh no, my one weak. Yeah, someone was weak to backpack. I remember that. It was weird. I reanimated my school's plastic skeleton because it was cheaper. <laughs> All right, I think I think that's it. Yeah, War Groove there's good. Remnant. All right, Remnant was a game that we streamed the first time back because I could um, I could name my character and make him have white hair and call him um, Gerald of Riverwood. Um, and chat did not ruin it for everyone. I think this was was it a mistake? Like I remember streaming it. I think 
like background noise welcome back where's the dark souls remaster chat ruined it for no it wasn't chat ruined it for everyone we actually did play the game um i think background noise it was just one of those 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 streams when we came back and I'll t so you want oh first stream back in a while and you want it to be you know what first stream back joe i wish i had watched another canadian stream super auto pets instead fuck it then all right the people have spoken there you go done done control you know what hot take background noise uh, no, it's decent baseline. It's low though. It's pretty low. It's fine. Like we, we got through it. We had some talks. We talked about Stranger Things a bit. I remember that. I don't remember a single standout moment from that at all, apart from the clocks. Was there anything else that, that, oh, we got, we got over a pit that we, that we weren't supposed to get over yet. That was pretty fun. Ashtray Maze, that was pretty good too. Yeah. I think decent baseline is where it is, but honestly, kind of a forgettable stream, kind of a forgettable game, which is a shame because I really like the setting and everything to, of it too. We also shamanoed kind of a part of it too. Greedfall. Okay, Greedfall. Greedfall should be a background noise. I'd rather watch another Canadian stream to Broad Pets. However, consider, consider Greedfall stream was the stream where I first told the say thank you story how much is that worth not much what do you mean at least one full tier right right haven't heard the story how have you not heard the story i just said it again last week remind the shit no a couple years before covid we ordered food for lunch it's important before it's before covid i'm angry telling the story now it was important for us before covid because you actually answered the door when the delivery guy got here lily's upstairs lily ordered the food i did not order the food guy knocks on the door i open the door because i didn't know open the food because i didn't order the food i didn't know if the guy had been tipped online i say to him hey did you get tipped and he said yes all right i take the food okay then i turn to finn who's next to me after we got the food and i say to finn say thank you and as the delivery guy is walking away he said thank you first time i said that story i'm pretty sure it was on the greedfall stream oh yeah then mistake <laughs> fuck it fuck it who cares blasphemous all right i think it's an easy decent tier like decent you know we're just going through a game just playing it seeing what it's all about you know around around control level easy we don't really need to talk about it i don't i don't remember there being like a good moment from it standout chan nothing it, it was fine you know like yeah it's an easy decent easy decent all right the surge two honestly forgot i streamed it i don't really remember streaming the surge two ever did i really stream the surge two I played the search to it a, a little bit again after that on my own. I don't remember streaming that. Okay, that's that. Noida. Oh, Noida's going to be hard. All right. Here's the thing. No chaos, right? Chaos is the perfect place for Noida because it was. It's got to be chaos, right? Is it number one under chaos? Noida was pretty short lived. I think we only did like one, one stream or two stream, but like Noida was wild. Like it just went fucking like bananas real fucking fast. Every single run just got completely out of control. Should go back to Noida sometime. I think maybe, I don't know if, it, if it's, if it's a stream kind of game, but is it below? I think maybe it's below Hello Neighbor. Hello Neighbor has to be, Hello Neighbor I think is a little bit more famous than, than, than that or infamous than, than the Noida one is on YouTube. I think Noida is on YouTube. Yeah. Are you rating the stream as well? Yeah, it's down here. It's down here. Tier list down there. Um, let's let's put a different track on. We have three music tracks here, everybody. All right, Code Vein. All right, Code Vein got us Trash Chan. And Code Vein, I think, wish I'd seen it live because you can't watch it anymore because it's not on there. Is Code Vein Great Vegetables? Code Vein was, I think, the beginning of Joe starts to fuck with chat. <laughs> the opening of Code Vein was a turning point where I started to intentionally try to think up ways of like pre-recording stuff and fucking with chat. So I think it's worth, wish I'd seen it live, at least for that. It's possibly great vegetables. However, as the streams went on, it kind of dragged because we did finish the game. The last couple streams were a little bit like, okay, it's run its course, but we're just in it to, to beat it now. And it drops down to decent baseline tier after that. So I think putting it in great vegetables is a little too generous to Code Vein. I think, I think Code Vein is high, high wish I'd seen it live. It was actually pretty, pretty good. I enjoyed the boss fights uh, in particular. Trash Chan was a, you know, a, um, a standout. The bamboozle at the beginning was really fun. I think, I think it's high tier. I don't know if it's going to be up here. Bim Merrick's basic weapon buff.
insatiable despot chan yeah i think it's up there maybe i'm gonna move it down a little bit later but i think it's up there but apart from that i, I can't think of any really big standout moments apart from you know me and chat kind of uh perving on uh monster girls a little bit because all the bosses uh were well, one of the bosses was like a like a, a slime stripper wasn't she like she had her, her stripper pole or whatever like and now suddenly someone's gonna go buy code vein is there gonna be a code vein too code vein 2 2019 oh that was more recent than i thought okay code artery nice plus two chatter untitled goose game all right untitled goose game was a one stream thing and it was really fun but is it great vegetables fun Ca was it chaos untitled goose game was joanna's bullshit that's true maybe it is chaos nah not chaos I mean, the game, calling it chaos when the game itself is chaos seems a little dirty. Baseline? Really? You think it's baseline? Untitled Goose Game was pretty fun. Wish I'd seen it live. I think it's wish I'd seen it live at least. I thought chaos was fucking with chat. Yeah, that's what I thought too. But now we like, like it's kind of morphed a little bit into like chat fucking with me or things in the game unintentionally going fucking bananas. And I think K uh, Goose Game intentionally goes bananas. I don't think it's chaos. Check poll. Don't check poll. These votes are insane. Chaos, 70%. Wish I'd seen it live. Lower, higher. Chaos is sent. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. I'm putting it in Wish I'd Seen It Live. And I'm putting it above. It was one stream. It was paced quite well. I'm putting it above Dusk. I'm putting it there for now. Let's see. Wish I'd Seen It Live. All right. Katana Zero. Okay. Katana Zero. I think it's great vegetables. I kicked that game's ass, man. All right. Like, I didn't use slow mo the whole fucking time. All right. It was short. We got through it. It had the funny Burger King joke. There's no real enduring like funny moment from it that I can point to or whatever, but I had a blast. It was paced quite well. And I think I, you know, strong Terry, strong Terry. You know, I, th I think, I think it's great vegetables. I don't know if it's higher than Slay the Spire. Maybe it's higher than Until Dawn. It's a, it's low on the list, great vegetables, but I think it's great vegetables. Joe just wants head pats for this one. Merrick, my, my head has not been patted my whole entire life. I don't even know if I want a head pat. I've never had one. Never in my life have I been head padded. Can you do a quick rundown of what you've placed so far? My weeb, it's just on the screen. We've made good progress, huh? Look, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Really? You think Katana Zero isn't great? I, no, it's great vegetables for me. I'm sorry. It's great vegetables for me. Outer Worlds, easy mistake. Easiest mistake of my life. Look at Greedfall and Outer Worlds looking like they have the same fucking thumbnail. Look at this shit. Outer Worlds, big mistake. Game kind of sucked, but maybe it just sucked as a stream. And if I played it on my own, it would be um it would be better and more fun i don't know i didn't like this at all mistake done done and dusted devil may cry five gonna put this in chat fucking ruined it for everyone <laughs> all right it's at least decent baseline all right is it wish i'd seen it live or great vegetables remember we're judging the stream we're not judging the game v and urgil joke were, were pretty good I think I played decently. I don't think I played well. I think I got into the groove of it as time went on. The V parts were fucking boring. The Nero and Dante parts were pretty good. I don't know if it's worth a wish I'd seen it live, but I think I think it was a decent enough time. Are these in YouTube? I think Devil May Cry 5 is on YouTube, yeah. Most most of the streams on here are on YouTube. And by most, I mean like 51%. <laughs> it was all right, not the best. Um, hmm. I think it's decent baseline. Where decent baseline though. I think it's pretty high. I think it's definitely above it's definitely above rising. That looks pretty good actually. I'm wondering if I'm rating Doom 2016 a little too high. Especially because we had a false start with that. You know what? I'm moving it down to below Titanfall 2. Alright, next one. Death Stranding. Alright, alright. It's great vegetables for sure. Is it cream of the crop? I don't know if it's cream of the crop. I don't know. I really enjoyed the streams. I thought the streams were fantastic. I don't know if Chad agreed. Bike Chan Legacy was really, really good. Kojima on his bullshit. One trip troop. Lots of great moments. A bit of a, a bit of a bad start though. We gotta remember the bad times as well as the good times. The start was pretty bad. I watched the highlights every three months. There are highlights of Death Stranding, are there really? We run. Just veggies. I, I'm kind of feeling cream of the crop chat. But there is downtime. Maybe we're forgetting the downtime. If it is cream of the crop, where is it? Is it lowest in cream? It's low cream, low cream, or is it high veggies? Is it better to be the lowest of cream or the best of veggies? Oh man, I don't know. I'm putting it in cream. I'm putting it in cream. I think that's like a standout, standout thing. Jedi, fa oh man, look at these bangers one after another. Holy shit, Jedi Fallen Order. Is that cream? 
You know what? I don't think it is. I think it's high veggies. All right, listen, listen. Here's here's my take. All right, Jedi Fallen Order was was a great first two streams, and then after that, it became decent baseline core. Okay. After that, it was like we're just getting through the game. We're just playing it. Nothing really else happened when it comes when it came to being Breaker Chan or whatever. I think I think Jedi Fallen Order. The the good times at the beginning of the of the, of the, of the one are definitely cream, and after that, it's like gets dragged down i think it's great vegetables later streams still had the trooper ah oh, they did man the troopers were really good all all the jerry memes that's true i'm so excited for the next one too maybe that's that's the sign i don't know man we're getting too much cream of the crop we do have okay should there be an equal amount of cream of the crop that there should be like mistakes and shit down here i don't know i feel like we're being a little too fast and loose with the cream of the crop here swap with death stranding we're the jedi fallen order stream okay you know what let's put it up there and let's see I feel like we got a little bit too much cream in this tier list the Jerry's breaking the wall. You can climb over that breaking it again after it being a whole healing charge down the whole entire time. I don't know, man. I'm moving them down. I'm moving them down. I think cream of the crop should be more exclusive. Let's see. Disco Elysium. All right. It's definitely wish I'd watch it live because you can't watch it otherwise anymore. Disco Elysium was cream. Oh, cream and veggies, cream and veggies. I had a blast streaming disco, but I was also appreciating it way more as a game than I was anything else. We gotta look at it as a stream, chat. Look, it's great vegetables for sure. All right, however, Disco Elysium, you're telling me it deserves to be in the same category as Persona 5 to Xenoblade Chronicles 2? The enduring memes that came from these, we appreciate Disco Elysium as a game. We don't really appreciate it that much as a stream. There were some fun stream moments, and like you skip, yeah, all the portraits were great, but I just, I, I think it was definitely a great stream, but was it cream? <laughs> but Joe, Kim, yeah, Kim, Kim is the game. That's the game. You're, you're appreciating the game. You're not appreciating the stream. This is the whole point. How, how good was it a stream ex shared experience? It was great, but was it cream? <laughs> the streams were gods here. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm keeping in great vegetables. I can't do it, I can't do it. Jump King Music Stream. Chaos, number one. Easy, easy chaos, easy chaos. Look, listen, listen, I might move these three up to cream afterwards. Right now they're staying in great vegetables, okay? Jump Jump King Music Stream, Curse Music Stream, easily, like I don't even think Hellpoint's gonna take it over for number one for chaos. The, the, the amount of times you guys bamboozled me into playing Snow Halation was absurd. The amount of, oh, thank God it's not weeb music. And then like a nanosecond later, here comes the weeb screaming vocals, you know, like fucking like, like playing rules of nature. And then the very next link I click on was rules of nature kazoo version. And it wasn't even planned. Okay. That that was it was a beautiful stream, beautiful, beautiful chaos. All right, definitely chaos tier. Like I don't even I don't even remember if we streamed a non music version of of Jump King because of that. All right, you're legit proving you've you made to be a weeb streamer with the cream category. Fucking fine. All right, boom, boom, boom. Fuck it, they're up there. All right, fuck it. All right, next one, Hades. Chat fucking ruined it for it. No, Hades. Um, honestly, I think it's. I'd rather watch another Canadian stream Super Auto Pets. I, I don't even think Hades was good background noise. Hades was kind of kind of whatever, man. Like I, I think Hades is a fine game, but I didn't really like it. And playing it on streams is kind of eh, whatever. You stream Hades exactly, exactly. Yeah. Jump. We already did Jump King. Jump King is on Chaos. Yeah. Hades is like like above. Okay. Silent Hill 2 at the top has to be there for the memes. Why was Hades bad? It wasn't bad. It just wasn't a great stream. Like, like Canadian, other Canadian streamers love these types of games. So it fits way better, right? They love them. They're built for them. You know, th th their cream of the crop would, would be up there. Hades up here. You know what I mean? There we go. All right. Resident Evil 3. All right. Resident Evil 3. I think it's decent baseline. Definitely the worst of the Resident Evil playthroughs. I don't even think it's Wish I'd Seen It Live. Like, I enjoyed it because of Jill. But, you know, apart from that, I think Resident Evil 3 was too short. It was kind of eh. I think it's decent baseline. And I think it's, like, honestly, like, maybe Evil Within Evil Within level. So, uh, maybe Subnautica. Yeah, around here. Evil Resident Evil 3, I, I think, is not a great game. And, and the streams were kind of whatever. You know what I mean? Like, it's fine. It's decent. It's, it's again, bread and butter. Bread and butter. That's why it's yellow for for the for the butter. Was there any standout moment in the Resident Evil 3 um, playthrough apart from that really gross part with the plants? That like actually was gross. Like 
like legit like no cap it was gross um can't believe ftl is that low where's ftl i can't even see it on the list we use decent baseline what do you mean it's low the ftl streams weren't that great were they does ftl deserve better does it deserve wish i'd seen it live love my boy squam swamps squamps squanch all right let's keep going doom eternal oh man I don't know about Doom Eternal, everybody. Doom Eternal, definitely not Chaos. Wish I'd seen it live. I think the Doom Eternal strains were pretty good. The game was a banger, but again, the Disco Elysium argument here, judging it as the game, the game certainly helps, but the game is not, not what we're looking at here. Doom Eternal, as a stream, I think it was a pretty good time. I think I played it well. We got through it well. We had some good conversations back and forth as we went. It's If it's decent baseline, I think it's number one in decent baseline because it's like going through a game and also like like performance was pretty good. See, here's the thing though. If if it is there, maybe we need to move Celeste down from Great Vegetables and I'm not ready to do that. Is Doom Eternal Great Vegetables tier? I don't think so. I think it's Wish I'd Seen It Live. Maybe it's the new number one in Wish I'd, Wish I'd Seen It Live and it's above Code Vein. I'm doing that. Was there any standout moments? I don't think so. I don't think so, but it was just, a, it was just, you know, a really good time the whole time. I'm the map. Oh yeah, I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. Stupid fucking door of the Explorer. Code Vein was funnier. Yeah, but Code Vein dragged for the last like 10 streams that we did of it. Wish is too high for Doom. Do you think so? See, I'm, my enjoyment has to be a factor in too, right? Like I really enjoyed streaming it, but was I, was I enjoy streaming it because of the game too? I felt like I was, I was doing well playing the game while keeping up with chat and having like a, and having a, a good stream interaction, but maybe I'm judging that too much or remembering it better because the game was so good. Hmm. It's definitely not Grey Vegetables. See, now I'm worried that I'm ranking Katana Zero and Celeste too high. How hard is it to get into Great Vegetables without also slipping up to Cream of the Crop? Man, Great Vegetables is like the most elusive category. Now, come on, if if I move Doom down, I have to move Dusk down. How, how the fuck does Doom Eternal not go in the same category as Dusk at least? Dusk had the soap meme and that's it. I think this is fine. I, I think this is fine. I think this is fine. We're going with this. Mortal Shell. All right, had, had some jokes. Refractory period, Maximum Wuggy was one of the... 15 games that are oh we're back to streaming it was hard dark souls it's not in chaos i just put it up here just to see where it is where is where's mortal shell i think decent baseline maximum wuggy cream cut cream cut we're cutting some cream decent yeah i think decent baseline it was it was whatever it did not say it's welcome that's good for it but it did kind of get a little boring in the last stream i think where is it i think it's below the messenger below terraria um, let's put it above FTL just to trigger some. Nah, it's, it's, it's below FTL. It's below, I think it's below Resident Evil, below Lisa. It's evil within feels about good. Yeah, there we go. Cut, what do you mean cut Jedi? You all wanted non-ween games in there. Cream cut, you know what? They're going back to great vegetables. Apart from Disco Elysium. There you go. They're going back to great vegetables. All right. Outer Wilds. All right. Okay. Outer Wilds, better than Disco Elysium. Better than Cream of the Crop. Cream of the Crop. Why, why are we, you don't have to say it. Cream of the Crop. Outer Wilds. Outer Wilds is number two or number one. Let's just, let's just cut to the chase. All right. So many, like th this game was such a banger. I didn't even have chat on like, and the streams were so good. Like even as a stream experience, it was so good. So, like piecing it all together, being watching it, that happen unfolding. So many great moments. 1% Eskel is just normal. Like falling into the black hole, hole even on another planet. Um, like that was a close one. Nailed it. Like just so many, so many. This time for sure. Is it better than Persona 5? Oh, is it better than Persona 5? Best? It's a contender for best for some people. It's definitely a better game than Persona 5. We all agree there, right? Is it, was it a better stream? Persona 5 has had more enduring memes, I think, but Outer Wilds does endure a lot and we talk about it a lot. Oh man, I don't know, this is hard. Okay, I'm leaving it, you know what? I'm putting it at number one for now, just to see how it feels as we scroll up and down, okay? Like Persona 5 has been there for a while at number one, we're gonna move this over and we're just gonna we're just gonna try it on, okay? We're just gonna try it on. We're just gonna see. Alright? We can we can move the list around. Alright? We're just we're just trying it on. We're seeing, okay? Alright, there we go. There we go. Alright? Okay. God damn. Outer wilds. Alright, what's this one? Is this hell point? Oh fuck. Alright. Is it number one or number two chaos? You know what? It's chat ruined it for everybody. I'm saying thank you to subs. The devs show up and start interacting with me 
through the medium of the game while talking on chat as well like there are messages showing up in the game as they've like gone into the game multiplayer to put messages on interact with me and then in the middle of that with dev in chat interacting with me thank you for the sub bill nye the cream pie guy all right thank you so much for making me say your name in front of the devs thank you bill nye the cream pie guy chat ruined it for fucking no it's chaos is it number one is is the cream pie guy moment <laughs> was that more chaos than snow halation roulette easy number one <sighs> dev said ayaya yeah, yeah. yeah it is it's number one you're right the dev said ayaya yeah, yeah, with ellipses and a question mark like they didn't even know why they were doing it <laughs> In their big, scary, sci-fi, zombie, souls-like game, there is a screenshot of the subtitle saying, Ayaya, and the dev did it. <laughs> All right, that's number one chaos game. You know what? Best stream. No, chaos. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> okay, this is a tough one now. Ace Attorney. Is this all of them? No. Okay, Ace Attorney 1, 2, and 3. Okay, I kind of want to combine them. Can I combine them? All right, Ace Attorney. I think I think it's great vegetables, right? I think all three of them are great vegetables. I can't see how they're not. I don't think they're cream. Excuse me. Nah, they're it's not cream. They're not cream. Death Stranding and Jedi Fallen Order were better than than Ace Attorney. I think. I don't I don't think they're cream. Easy cream. You guys are insane. It's not cream. Not even remotely cream. Yeah, it's creamless. Not creamy at all. Very, very high veggies. Do you think so? How high in the veggies are they? See, you say this, but I remember the Ace, maybe it was just the Ace Attorney 1 stream. I remember think people saying it kind of drags, it's get, kind of getting a little boring. Maybe that's because it wasn't as exciting in terms of memes, but like me, like reading out a story has a lot of value to people, I think. And also like it, it was a good time at the end. AA1 gave us Gorsh, Gauche. Lily, who's your favorite political streamer commentator? Gauche. Like, that's true. It gave us a lot of heart. And Bobby? Like, it gave us that. It, the ending of um, Ace Attorney 3 was also God tier. So, like, but that, that again is judging the game. But my reaction to it, I think, was pretty good. Like, I think I think sometimes that can be infectious if you're really in enjoying it. Yeah. Co Coggers, we got Coggers to it from as well. Okay. Let, let us do the rating of the games individually as streams. I think, now, again, my memory might be inflating them too. Oh, the voices too? Von Karma? I am fucking Von Karma. Oh, Von Karma. The elevator argument? Okay, you know what? Ace Attorney 1 is chat ruined it forever. Because <laughs> chat didn't understand that elevators aren't fucking airtight. Okay? Canadian judge. Oh, the Canadian judge. All right, yeah, it's great vegetables easily. Double, double. All right, which one is the best one for streams? I think the third one is the best one. But is it the best stream? I kind of feel like, does it go 3-1-2? Maybe it's 3-1-2. I don't remember every case that well anymore. The Undercourt? Undercourt's really good. Which one had Undercourt? Was that three? <laughs> three which is the one where, where Chadworth is, is gone for quite a lot of it, and then he just shows up toward the end. Because that's the one with Undercourt. Like, that's... Is that two? Two has Undercourt then. Two two is the one where we, we you know, headcanon that Chadworth was away in the undercourt practicing you know in america for, for a while okay i think that ace attorney is over here and this is my ranking i'm going i'm going three one two okay now that may change in time if i was to reevaluate them maybe i put like honestly it, it could be a toss-up between all these ranking okay i'm putting them there okay three one two there we go there we go chat seems to agree there you go done coggers canadian judge hmm wish i could read my own judge voice and, and demeanor is canon to me, which I don't know if that makes me have like a, a huge ego or whatever, but like I can't I can't not see the judge acting like I imposed on him. Like yeah. Catherine Hi Catherine is not higher than Ace Attorney. Is Catherine higher than Reseteer and Celeste? You know what? I'm moving Celeste down. Celeste has been moved down to below Catherine. Okay? I've done it. I don't think Catherine's a higher than Reseteer though. There you go, done. Alright, next game. Deltarune. Deltarune chat fucking ruined it for everyone first of all i'm not comfortable i'm not comfortable fucking doing it yet because because delta is not out we haven't finished it but sequel gate was obnoxious as fuck 
there we go. The Monocoin Gambit. Ah, oh, okay, that was pretty good. You set that up so far in advance. No spoilers, please. Okay, we won't we won't discuss it. Okay, it's definitely not great vegetables, chat. Honestly, I don't even think it's wish I'd seen it live. Okay, you know what? I defer to chat here. Chat, you vote it and you tell me where does this go? Because to me, I, I was a little uncomfortable. I couldn't really judge it because it wasn't done. I honestly didn't even want to play it yet. I wanted I wanted to play it like when it was all full out, it came out, and that's why we're not doing part chapter two until the rest is out, okay? So you guys vote and I will put it wherever you guys decide. All right, baseline is winning, but lower is winning to that. So just lower than baseline. So background noise? Oh man, I don't think it's background noise. It wasn't that bad, was it? It was a mistake. We should have waited until it was all done. All right, there you go. I'll do it. Delta Rune, number one mistake. Should have waited until it was all out. There you go. We all we're all in agreement. Delta Rune fans, BTFO'd. There we go. Mistake. Done. Done. All right. Next one. Was there even a standout moment in the Delta Rune run? I can't think of one. Apart from the argument with chat about sequel. Like that came that came from it or whatever. All right, Yakuza Zero. All right, here comes the awkward one, chat. All right, chat fucking ruined it for everyone. All right, may I counter with maybe I was being too sensitive. I don't know. I feel like I've gone through a lot of like growth as a person since the Yakuza Zero stream. All right, I don't know. Yakuza Zero stream, people people getting on my back and on my case didn't bother me at all unless they were regulars. And I don't know if some of the right it seemed really mean-spirited at the time from some of the regulars but maybe they didn't mean it that way and it was just like going along with like the flow of chat and trying to like have, having our banter back and forth but at the time it really got to me maybe it's because it was a long playthrough and it was already all this back and forth about mew shoes and everything like that that said before that yakuza zero was an easy easy great vegetables possibly even cream of the crop i don't think i have ever laughed harder on stream than when Kiru was walking down the sewer and the Mushu went squeak 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 so like like it was so funny so funny you know like 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 my god like like the level of comedy we reached getting out of the game that was already funny on its own and you know the gameplay was pretty good and you know all the little mini games and everything it was it was a really great um time to go to go through it all as well so i think even despite what happened at the end which i don't know if it was chat ruined for everyone or if it was me over time i have tried to land somewhere in the middle leaning toward i was the problem not chat my reaction to what happened after it was definitely too strong and i and i nuked chat interaction too hard but i think i needed that at the same time i needed to take a step back and i've come back mostly but i'm like i'm not all the way back i do keep chat a little bit more at arm's length than i used to not all the way but i think i've gotten better at handling it and when i do get annoyed like i got really annoyed the only time i've ever gotten that annoyed since the streams came back again was at the end of half-life one when i when i said to you i just said directly like chat is actually pissing me off right now and i said but it, i think it's on me and like it's fine you guys should be able to rag on me a bit it's fine and i just acknowledged it and then we moved on and it was fine and we we didn't it didn't fester and grow into this, this thing because i just said it um i don't know streaming is hard sometimes and i said it a few times that i'm not really that cut out for it but i don't know i i'm hesitant to to lay it all on chat even though chat was kind of bad for sure but maybe i was worse i don't know it's an easy great vegetables no matter what maybe it's still cream i remember it really fondly i really do you know what i think it's still cream it might be the lowest of cream but how can something how can something that was cream for most of the of the time not be cream when you look at it right the shimano emo is in chat right now shimano lives on you know i i we're we're gonna play the other game soon right i i think it's cream it might be the lowest cream here i think it's cream yeah it's a great game too. It's got so much to it. I was so impressed by it. Genshin Impact. Uh, mistake. All right, next, Bug Snacks. All right, where are we going to Bug Snacks? I think it's an easy great vegetables. I don't think it's cream of the crop. Chaos, we did have to do an impromptu speed run. <laughs> it's Bug Snacks. 
I don't think I think chaos is more about about chat or emerge. Ah, we did do the the chaos speed run. We skipped a lot. We got through quite a bit. We broke it. But I still think I think it's mostly great vegetables rather than chaos. I'm going against chat here. Sorry, chat. I don't I don't think it's chaos. I think it's I think it's high great vegetables. I think. Oh man, I think it's here. I think it's below Ace Attorney. I think it's here. I think Death Stranding and Jedi definitely better. But Bug Snacks was I think definitely better than Reseteer by by a hair. It was definitely better than Catherine. So it's, it's at least here, okay? It's at least here. Is it here? I, I kind of feel it, yeah. Is it better than Ace Attorney though? I mean, maybe it's better than one of them, but then I'm breaking up the Ace Attorney block and I really think they should be together. That feels good good to me. Bug Snacks had, had some, some good moments. It had the song and it didn't outstay its welcome because we broke a bunch of it. It got a little boring kind of in the middle where we're kind of like, okay, maybe we should have stopped playing this game by now. But then it came back with like an, with a pretty, pretty fun ending with, um, with the speed run shit at the end that we had to go through. It was also like we, we broke the game by going through getting and getting something from a treasure chest a lot earlier than we did as well. We also, it also was a game that I managed to not like, like ring out of all its content and like, and take it too far by trying to do every single thing. Change the music, okay. And then the ending was pretty fun too from the game itself. All right, this feels pretty good. I, I don't know, maybe I'm rating it too highly though. Maybe it should be Wish I'd Seen It Live. Now I think, I know that's a big drop, man. It's going all the way down from here, but I don't, this, this feels about right. I feel like the bug snacks kind of, was kind of hype. I'm leaving it there. I'm leaving it there. There we go. All right. Cyberpunk. All right. We only played it once. Mistake. And the mistake was not streaming the whole thing because that would have been fantastic. Cyberpunk, if I had streamed the whole thing, would have been cream of the crop. Easy cream of the crop. Easy cream of the crop. It was a mistake. Farron. Oh my God. We're into the head. Oh no. I forgot about the David Cage games. We're in the David. We're all in Cage Miss. Oh shit. Oh shit. All right. First of all, let's do Helltaker. Where's Helltaker going? Helltaker is background noise it was it wasn't a good time right i think it's background noise isn't it like it, it was short we got through it decent do you think so i don't know man wish i'd seen like, helltaker is wish i'd seen it live really the moment joe the moment my weeb we're talking about helltaker we're not talking about indigo hey how's it going lily good lily should helltaker be decent baseline or background noise or i'd rather watch another canadian stream super auto pets just pick one who cares? It's Helltaker. No one cares. I don't know what Helltaker is. Exactly. So. You don't have to know. I'll just say background noise. Okay. It's in background noise. All right. There you go. Sorry to anyone. I just pissed off because they didn't agree with me. But. Helltaker is a game where you, you go to hell and you collect demonic succubus waifus. And somehow it's not my favorite game of all say, time. Yeah. yeah. And somehow it's not. Okay. So then yeah, it should be background noise. Okay. There you go. It's background noise. All right. Uh, you should have taken to that one for sure. Yeah, for sure. I heard you yelling in the kitchen when I was making the tea. And I thought, oh, the game must be going really bad. And I come down and you're doing we're doing a tier doing list. This? Yeah, we're doing a tier list. Best, best stream. It's not what I thought. Best stream we've ever done so far is Outer Wilds. But do you think that, okay, look at the top list here. See it? See these games? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games up here. Yeah. Okay. Do you think the list looks better like this aesthetically? Okay. Or does it look better like that? Just a That breaks it up a bit better, I think, because those three are very colorful. So those you think, four you think it looks really better colorful. like with this arrangement? Yeah, I like that better. Yeah? Okay. Does does this look even better to you? Yeah? That looks even better? It looks even better. Yeah? Aesthetically. Alright, let's let's try it on for a little bit. Okay? We'll try it on like this for a bit. Alright. Thank you for the tea. You're welcome. Alright, Helltaker is in background noise, alright? Okay, here we go. Now. Alright. The Cage Miss block has begun. We have four Cage Miss games here now to 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 uh to judge, alright? I don't know how we're doing this. Alright, first of all. First of all, we put them all into mistakes, and now we have to judge which was the best stream. Now, I think, I think, I think Fahrenheit was the best stream. I think Fahrenheit, oh, this is so hard. This is so hard. Holy shit, what's number two? Like, I, my, my brain just hit a critical error. I literally just, in my mind, I went, oh, it's easily Detroit. And then I went, oh, but Heavy Rain. Oh, but Beyond Two Souls was so great. Like, like, I just went through all of them. All of them. Fahrenheit is easily number one for the stream. Fahren I think they're all, are they all cream? They're all great vegetables, at least. These streams were bangers. All four of them, they're at least great vegetables. They might all be cream. I don't know, man. It's also kind of unfair to, to have them as separate games, but they were like, they were pretty short. They were so funny. Okay, I'm making, I'm making an executive decision. I know the best one and I know the worst one. The best one, the, and again, these are streams, okay? Not games. 
The best stream is Fahrenheit. The worst stream is Heavy Rain. So now we just have to work out what's number two and what's number three. And I don't know if I can do it. I, I literally don't know if I can do it. Like num Detroit Become Human had the banger sections with Connor and Hank and had like the absolute cringe of Ralph. Ralph was great. The Marcus sections were like entertaining in their own train wreck way. But Beyond Two Souls was just completely batshit. All right, spoilers. We're getting into spoilers because we have to, okay? Beyond Two Souls had Jody pretending that she could well, she wasn't pretending it's you know what in my head it was so cringe that to me i i head it into the she was pretending when she wasn't pretending that she could talk to some dead guy dead wife of some guy but it was real it didn't even it, like it was real and i thought it was pretending like like the whole homeless arc and then like just like oh she's she's gonna go live on a ranch with some weird ancient evil dust storm monster that comes out of nowhere and never comes back there's a part later on where someone kills themselves and she's smiling and goes yeah that was the right decision here's the message everyone if your family's dead and you miss them maybe you should kill yourself to join them fucking like the absolute worst most uncomfortable moment that has ever happened to me on the whole entire stream was even worse than that and it was in that game too where jody says to a child soldier in the middle of a war after he, the child has gone through killing people running around with a fucking ak-47 and she says to this child soldier don't worry this will be over soon and you you can go back to being a normal kid again like how do you compare these two like like I, I i don't like what's what's what was more of a train wreck entertainment they're all cream absolutely they're all cream heavy rain's not heavy rain is great vegetables heavy rain is like i think up here with great vegetables these are all cream they were amazing i don't i just don't i don't know which one's number two i don't know if i can decide like like holy shit also you know what i think i think they're up here man i think they're above danganronpa i'm off my bullshit right now these were so short and so entertaining they were wild wild stream like like holy fuck they were wild i don't know i don't know what's number two i, can, I don't think i can do it they were above danganronpa man they were above danganronpa Maybe it's recency bias. I don't know. Okay, you know what? I'll extend another olive branch to you, chat. All right, here we go. Do you find this acceptable? It's a David Cage sandwich. Fahrenheit is above Danganronpa. I don't give a fuck what you say. There's no way you're convincing me Fahrenheit is not above Danganronpa, okay? Like, Dang Fahrenheit, the whole moment thing, like, you know what? I take it back. Mew Shoes is not the hardest I laugh. I'm pretty sure I cried laughing during Fahrenheit. <laughs> Te teasing chat out of the um like the moment this is the moment the moment's coming i cried laughing during fahrenheit hiding under the table like all these moments are just coming back to me fahrenheit the david cage games are so good i want to do cage miss every year because i think it would be so fucking funny just i don't know what's what's better like what was the better stream experience you know what i think detroit i think i think connor and hank's shenanigans edge it out slightly because there was there was this little morsel in detroit that was actually unironically good whereas everything in beyond two souls that we enjoyed was just all a trick there was a part where we went to like it like an ancient was it was it chinese submarine base in the arctic and then we died and then in the next fucking scene we're just out on the ice getting cpr and then in the next fucking scene with like we're just we're just at the fbi cia headquarters just walking through everything's fine do 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 like like no explanation whatsoever like what what the fuck? <laughs> All right, I think I think the Detroit had a crumb of, of content, not even a crumb. It had a whole slice of bread that was actually unironically good. I I think Detroit wins, but Fahrenheit's definitely number one. Definitely number one. All right, that's it. That's the, that's David Cage done. Oh man, we got so much cream. Holy shit. Holy shit. All right, Vampire: The Masquerade Bloodlines. All right, hot take. I think it's decent baseline. I don't think I had a couple funny moments. I think it's high decent baseline. I think it's number three up here. I think it's decent baseline. The the, the part with the tram was so funny. The the anamorph thing that went on with one of the enemies also really funny. I enjoyed the game. I thought it was good, but it also had the moment where I realized Reddit was full of shit, and that that whole hotel series sequence was like it wasn't scary at all. I don't know what the fuck the Reddit circle jerk is talking about with oh my god, scariest section in all of gaming. Oh my god, I still have nightmares about the hotel. Like, like what the fuck are you guys talking about? Anyway, so that that is low. Wish I'd seen it live. Oh, you know what? Decent baseline is is kind of kind of you know it's glutted, right? You're you're convincing me, chatter. You're convincing me. 
Lockpicking vampire. Oh, you're pushing me over the edge. That's true, but I'm gonna need one more. Okay, I think I think here above Goose Game. There you go. I'm I'm doing it. I'm I've done it. It's done. All right, Hitman. All right. You know what? I don't know how to judge this one. All right. I don't know how to judge Hitman. All right. Here's why. Here's why. You think of Hitman. You think of the first stream. You think it was really funny. Like me on my bullshit, doing the clown costume. Like shame oh, shame like throwing the muffin at the guy like like it was it was fun there was lots of lots of fun moments in the early stream but then as it went on it kind of started to drag a little bit you know like i really had fun trying to work out how to do like like the contracts properly but i think chat like checked out they weren't high performers like and i i feel like like if you really enjoyed the hitman games then you were there for it and you enjoyed it but you were a rare rare breed to me it's similar to what was the other game that we were like this if you really enjoyed it if you know what it's kind of like into the breach where did we put into the breach into the breach we put in background okay it's not that low it's not that low Mwah, i'm gonna delete your emails <laughs> <laughs> like code vein maybe like what was an enduring moment from hitman i've watched the hitman streams through four times yeah if you like them you really like them they're, they're like i think they're they're not for everybody but if it's for you they're great great peaks lots of downside yeah kind of shame i'm partial to the man the photo on the tree <laughs> stealing stealing the <laughs> Remember the one with the castle where she's like, ha, 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 I found a coin. And I'm like, oh, me, yoink. <laughs> just, I can just run. Da, 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 da. Hey, give that back. You know, that was, that was pretty funny. Um, okay. Low wish I could, wish I'd seen it live then. Let's put it above beginner's guide. It seems like they're, they are, it's a polarizing thing. Veggies are higher. What? Really? Hitman is veggies? Have these been like, have these been like slow burners? If I streamed Hitman again in a couple of weeks, would there be more people here than last time? Chat thinks veggies. I don't know, man. That's not really my, my take on it at all. Chat says veggies. All right. My inclination was decent baseline. Chat thinks great vegetables. Let's go wish I'd seen it live then, but a little higher than I was going to put it. Let's put it, let's put it up here. All right. The Hitman are going up there. All right. Let, let's compromise. All right. Here we go. Hitman roguelike would be primo Joe content. I thought that, but I really need to know the maps and all the interactions, I think, in order in order to do that. Let's see. What's next? Marbles. Okay, by marbles, are you like the voting game? Because if it's the voting game, it's cream. But if it's just the marble stream, it's great vegetables. Does this carry it through, carry with it, the chaos of the voting game? Should it be chaos? No, it can't be chaos. If it counts as voting game, it's cream. But I'm not putting it at high cream because it's kind of cheating. It can be the lowest of cream. Do we agree with this? It's cheating for sure. It's a little cheaty, but you know what? It was it was a stream event. It just wasn't live on the stream, right? And it came with it, like the marbles, I had to explain the voting game live on stream, which, which was also pretty fun. <sighs> See, if it's chaos, it's gonna knock Hellpoint off, and that just doesn't feel right. Nah, I'm I'm putting I'm putting it low cream. Low cream. Oh man. Oh, oh. here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Persona 4 Golden. Alright, well, it's cream. You got you don't even have to say it. It's cream. And it's in the top three. It's better than Fahrenheit. It's in the top three. It's a, it's a contender for number one. All right, I don't know, chat. This is gonna be hard. This is really hard. Persona, let's put them side by side, all right? Persona 4 versus Persona 5. First of all, five is a bigger number than four, and it's just inherently worth more. However, four is an even number, and I like even numbers better than odd numbers. So they kind of cancel out, okay? All right, so now that the number conundrum has been like um, dealt with, all right, let's 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 look at it from, from a game perspective and the stream perspective. I think that I was a much better streamer in Persona 4 Golden than I was in Persona 5. I know how to talk to chat better. I don't stutter as much. I still do stutter sometimes, especially if I'm tired. I don't stutter as much. I don't repeat myself as much. Still do a little bit, but not as much. Rift better. There were lots and lots of happy accidents. We brought a lot of like stream memes with us and we still managed to make a lot more. Everything to do with Risei was great. 
everything to do with um with kanji was pretty great too nanako was was great dojima was great the, the whole entire great vegetables thing but also like you know riff like slamming on dojima for being a bad dad if we're going by the highlight video that php trash made um and i think the one that man the ones that man of answers made too persona 4 wins it by a landslide oc you're collapsed your lung collapse great vegetable like great vegetables great vegetables are bond man a watermelon floor one was not fun it was so fun what are you guys talking about it was so it was so it was so fun and sai slaps the table yeah that's a joke from persona 5 but it was it was a joke that that we that we used in persona 4 you know what it just hit me we have a clear winner don't we chat we have a clear winner it has to be persona 4 it has to be persona 4 Let's make a Persona sandwich with Outer Wilds. I think Persona 4 takes it over Persona 5. Let's make a sandwich and see how we fit. Is Outer Wilds better than Persona 4? I don't know. Is Outer Wilds better than Persona 5? I don't know. I definitely know that this one is ahead of Persona 5 for sure. And I don't know if this is ahead of Persona 5 or not. And if it is ahead of Persona 5, I don't know if it's ahead of Persona 4. I don't know. But let's make a Persona sandwich. There we go. We have, we have too much cream. But I can't argue with these, man. The fact that a bunch of these, like collection games are being linked together like persona 4 and persona 5 being their own separate games makes a lot of sense they're huge long games the david cage games are not that long i guess dang rampa games are pretty long too all right you know what i need to pee let's let this simmer a little bit we're four minutes short for break let's let let, let this simmer but before i go stink skate get the fuck in the stink skate thing there we go done all right uh i'll change the music and i'm gonna go and pee again you're back let's have a serious conversation about steins gate steins gate is cream versus stink all right, Stinkskate. All right, so Stinkskate is the only game in the history of streams that I believe we streamed more than once and didn't finish. It's not, sorry, it's not a game. It's not a game. It's not a game. It's the only thing we've ever streamed more than once and didn't finish. Correct? Neon White? Hey, we haven't finished it yet. All right. Is there anything else that we streamed like, and it was like an actual like feature? It's like, yeah, we're we're gonna get through this. Like those were proper one-offs. Like we knew what they were going in. All right. So here's here's the problem with uh, Steins Gate. All right. Steins Gate is problematic, and here's why. So when the streams were going on, it's potential for cream. All right. The cream is there. The cream potential is there. People who wanted Steins Gate in the same way that people who wanted Hitman seem to really really enjoy it okay chat ruined it no chat did not ruin it steinsgate ruined it all right so here's the story of steinsgate steinsgate was in a similar way that forespoken is a saturday feature right now forespoken fridays on a saturday steinsgate was steinsgate sundays on a saturday okay so every saturday we would put, was or was a steinsgate saturday on a sunday which was it it was Saturday, right? I don't think it was Steins Gate Saturday on a Sunday. Anyway, so we we were... Was it Saturday on Sunday? Was it really? Or was it Sunday on Saturday? I can't even remember anymore now. So we were reading through it. It's a VN. Uh, there are no choices that I remember being in the in in the in the game in the in the in the software. Um, it was more or less a straight VN, like Doki Doki Lit Club kind of, but even with with fewer choices. Um, and it presents itself as a serious time travel story. And after presenting itself in the intro as this, it devolves into very slowly paced slice, slice, slice is life, a uh, slice of life bullshit with quite possibly the most obnoxious protagonist I have ever encountered in any story, in any medium ever. I hate Okarin so much. Like, the other characters in the story, honestly, I I can kind of get on board with. Mayuri's all right. Makizi's all right. Um, Daru is okay, I guess. You know, the other side ones are like, eh, you know, like, they're okay. But I can't stand Okarin, all right? You mean Jokerin? Yeah, Jokerin. I can't stand Okarin. And people say, you know, he gets better later on. I have my doubts about that. He gets better later on. But... It was, I think, was it four streams or was it three? We were so many streams and so many hours into this motherfucking thing and s nothing had happened. And not only had nothing had happened, to me, the characters weren't acting like people, okay? Like they, I don't know, weebs, or I shouldn't say weebs, people don't respond well sometimes to criticism of their stories and they hear things that aren't there. I had to clarify on Reddit somewhat recently that my problem with it was not that 
if if like, like someone someone actually thought and it wasn't just them there were a bunch of people that thought this and i know they were speaking for a group that's why I, I responded to it there was a group of people that thought that my criticism of the microwave in the game in, in sorry in the story being capable of time travel doesn't make sense because and i quote this is what they thought i thought okay that if that was the case why doesn't my microwave work as a time as a time machine either then they they thought that was legit criticism that I had, okay? Because I said something and they didn't understand it, okay? The point was that this microwave has to be special because if I lived in this world, any microwave, including my own, would be a time machine then, right? So there must be something special about the microwave. So why aren't the characters investigating that at all? And apparently it is special later on, you know, like th that is something that, that happens, all right? Like, I don't know if that's a spoiler or not or, or whatever, but you know, there we go. The, the special circumstances or something like that. Joe, do you know the plot? Of course not, no. I didn't look up anything afterwards. Just, Fuck it, I'm done. Like, like clean slate. I was a little tempted to see does it go anywhere actually interesting but then i thought you know there's a non-zero chance that we might continue this someday so you know whatever anyway there was too much of that the the beginning of the end was when okarin a fake scientist who has by my um reckoning zero credentials is just pretending to know shit maybe he like read some wikipedia articles okay like said to Mckeezy, who is a real scientist, not only is she a real scientist, she's like somewhat famous. Is she even world renowned? Like she was enough that as a, as a teenager, she's giving like a guest star lecture at, at a place, right? Something like that. Like she was, she has some qualifications, right? Like she is like actually a real shit. Okay. He says to her, about like saying like an occult shit about ghosts and instead of her slapping this down she says to him well it's a different field of study baka i can't really counter this and he's like Haha, i got her now and she's just like oh shit he got me you know like 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 fucking hell the funniest thing that came out of it apart from the crossover moment the funniest thing that came out purely from 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 steins gate was the web comic or the, co the the fan art comic or i don't know if it was a meme someone made in the in in the community or if like someone found this already which is mckeezy saying that she is moron sexual i'm mckeezy and i'm moron sexual i, I if someone around me says something so idiotic i just can't help myself or whatever like just just like someone will post it in jazz probably okay like fucking hell the song yeah okay the, the song i wrote was pretty good too i enjoyed i enjoyed writing the song that was the beginning of the end though when that happened and then the real beginning of the end was when and okay spoilers all right spoilers i had to explain like high school level biology to chat which you know what i honestly don't hold it against you because like maybe they glossed over it in high school maybe like like if, if you've never tried to become a parent maybe you just don't know this shit okay like when a woman is pregnant with a baby you can't change the sex of the baby by eating vegetables <laughs> Okay, and that's when Steins Gate went from great to legendary because it, it crossed over with Persona 4, which we were streaming concurrently with the great vegetables meme to great vegetables. The most fortuitous st streaming morbing crossover event in all of stream history, great vegetables. So, so there we go. All right, that was the last straw. There is a non-zero chance I will continue it someday. Okay, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't know where to rank it. While it was going on, every single week I was surprised that so many people were there and and, and rooting for it and lose and watching me lose my shit. The funniest clip of all was when someone said we could have been playing Umi Neko now, and the YouTuber Racevic clipped this out because Racevic was there when I lost my shit saying Umi Nekos were already with the fucking Nekos because we were in a fucking cat girl cafe. Umi Neko when the seagulls cry and the fucking cat girls with the fucking seagull feathers and the fucking cat girl mouth going meow 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 meow. Like like second stream we fucking like loaded it up and like I was like all right where were we again? And then there was fucking Ferris going hello Miaster nice to meet you like like it was fucking like. It was a train wreck, all right? So I don't know where to rank it, but I do know where to rank it. It's great vegetables, because it has to be. Where else could it go but great vegetables? Great vegetables, but it's going at the bottom of great vegetables. Get fuck Steins Gate. Get fuck Steins Gate. All right, let's delete it. The bit has run its course. <clears throat> all right. Oh. Let's move on.
Vampire Survivors. Vampire Survivors was like I think a first stream back at some point, or one of the first streams back around the same time that we were playing Hollow Knight. It was it was in a the beginning of a streaming season. Um, it definitely wasn't a mistake. It feels probably good to put it. I'd rather watch another Canadian stream Super Auto Pets. Maybe background noise. Borderline Q and A tier. Yeah, it was it was whatever. It was just we, we just played it just to do a test kind of thing. I think background noise is pretty fair for this. Let's put it um let's put it at the bottom. I do like Vampire Survivors though. Let, let's put it there. Okay. Resident Evil Village. All right, Resident Evil Village, I think, is great vegetables. I think Resident Evil Village is pretty good. It's at least wish I'd seen it live. I think it's great vegetables. I think it was a pretty good time. Cream, it's, I don't think it's cream. It's not cream. It's great vegetables. Where in great vegetables is, I don't think, I don't know. I don't, it's not above Death Stranding, Jedi, or, or, um, or, uh, Heavy Rain. I don't think it's above Ace Attorney. It might be above Bug Snacks. It's definitely above Resident Evil 7. Is it above Bug Snacks? It's around there, I think. Below Catherine, do you think so? I think that's some a lot of funny moments. And we made fun of it a lot. We got a lot of good laughs out of that. We farmed a bunch of plus twos. Below Celeste, do you think so? I don't even sure if Celeste should be in this category. Below Reseteer? Hmm. You know what? I'm okay with that. This looks pretty good to me. Above Catherine, it's close though. Above Catherine, there we go. There we go. That's that's that. Yeah. Resident Evil 8 standout was obviously, you know, um, Team Wolf Squad. <laughs> All the bullshit with, with Ethan. Um, Ethan's one-liners. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. The hand. Yeah, the hand. The hand. You know what? We didn't talk about Outer Wilds chans enough. Because as good as Persona 4 and 5 were, they didn't have any chans. Outer Wilds had... You know what? We're about to get into it. Here, e Echoes of the Eye is next. All right. Echoes of the Eye is cream. But it wasn't as good as the base playthrough. See, here's the thing, chat. I would like to combine these two, I think, maybe, in terms of the ranking. I'm okay discussing them separately. I know I said something different at the beginning of the stream. I don't know. I think Echoes of the Eye... You streamed, Yeah, I streamed it, yeah. It's, it's on YouTube, yeah. It's all one stream if you want to watch it on YouTube. Echoes of the Eye was a good time, even a great time. But I think it was... It wasn't as good as the as the base stream. In terms of what's the experience itself as a game, I think I would also rank it the same way. But I don't know. It was Veggie's Island. I don't know, man. I don't know. We haven't spoken about the Chans. I don't think Echoes of the Eye had Chans, did it? But Outer Wilds had had QT Moon Chan, which is like a god tier Chan for a lot of people. We also didn't talk about Yakuza bringing Fido Chan to the mix. Like, oh, if we were ranking Chans, Yakuza Zero would be number one. Someone's saying Risei Chan. Risei, Risei is not a Chan. Risei is already like a being. A Chan is a is a is a Ginjinka. A, 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 a chanification of, of something that is not already a a waifu thing. <laughs> Bike Chan is the best. Bite me. Yeah, by Death Stranding is also elevated from the Chan. Yep. The Chans are Jajinkas, you fucking boo. Isn't that what I'm saying, dweeb? Like, that's. Aren't you just restating my position? That's what I just said. People, people in fucking chat are saying that Risei is a Chan. And I'm saying she's not. From the way that we use Chan around here, Charlie Chan, we haven't even gotten to uh, to to Charlie Chan yet, okay? We haven't even gotten that to that yet. All right, I don't know. Out Echoes of the Eye, Echoes of the Eye. If it was, if it was on its own, like let's let's imagine that Outer Wilds doesn't exist, okay? I don't know how you would get Echoes of the Eye on its own without Outer Wilds. But let's imagine it doesn't exist, and we streamed it. I think it would just be great vegetables, okay? However. The fact that it is connected to Outer Wilds and you can watch it as a part of the Outer Wilds experience, I think makes it makes it cream by association. Combined, they're, they're cream. So I kind of want to just take this off the board and just put it back down here. And we just all agree that this includes Echoes of the Eye in it. What do we think about that? We okay with that? So now, now that we've said that, okay? So Outer Wilds, I would say would be would be full cream and echoes of the eye would be like skimmed cream might want to even say lean cream now that we've combined them together do we have <laughs> <coughs> excuse me all right you know what let's just for the sake of, of being thorough let's just put it next to it let's who cares it's fine it's fine all right wander song <sighs> You know what? Let's talk about Echoes of the Eye a little bit more for, for a second. Had some really great moments. Um, I don't understand why some people are mad about the Echoes of Eye playthrough. I can get being mad about something I did in the Outer Wilds base game, but now that I understand it more, I also think it's a little bit overblown. But 
like Echoes of the Eye, like these games to me are intentionally set up that you're meant to have your own path and journey through them and your own sense of discovery. And the the quote unquote intended way that you're meant to this that you're meant to find out about a lot of discoveries in the game, there that that's not the way you're meant to do it to me. That's the safety net. Like this is here in case you don't figure it out on your own. And you still don't get me wrong, it's still a good experience to go to go through and and and, and have to hit the game telling you, hey, here, here's what you can do, right? Like I had to hit that a bunch of times in the base game, and I was fine with that. But like figuring it out on your own and having a sense of discovery to me is better, but it might not be to you, and that's fine. But like that's I don't think it's unintended. Like it's it's fine, like it's 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 okay. Like I don't think I did anything I don't think I did anything in Echoes of the Eye that was anywhere close to what I did on the quantum moon in the base game. So people get mad. And I'm like, I don't, I don't get it. And like, there were a couple of ch chatters. I think maybe it's even a YouTube comment that said something like, could you imagine the developers watching, watching this guy, like completely go against the grain of the game? And I'm like, motherfucker, I'm pretty sure the developers would be like, holy shit. He, he has, a, he had a great sense of discovery and a time figuring this out on his own. And, and he got to have these big wow moments. I'm so happy. You know what I mean? That's what I would think, you know? Anyway, that, that's that's Echoes of the Eye a little bit. I really enjoyed playing Echoes of the Eye. It's one of my my fondest stream memories. Like, Our Wilds and Echoes of the Eye together, really, really, really great. Um, I do prefer the base game. I will say that at least in in the Echoes of the DLC, we didn't have hours and hours of trying to trying to crash into the sun station. But, you know, that became a, a fond memory in hindsight as it was. But that's it. All right, Wander Song. All right, is Jelly here? Man, I don't know how to rate Wander Song. I think the game itself is fine. I think that... It wasn't very fun as a stream. As a stream, chat ruined it. Yeah, chat was r really kind of toxic, to be honest. I feel like chat hated it more than I did, and that kind of dragged the whole experience down. I kind of want to. I kind of want to say chat fucking ruined it for everyone. <laughs> do we all agree? Chat, do you agree that you ruined it for everyone? <laughs> All right, let's put it there, and that's and that's let's leave it and 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 move on. Oh, Wander Song. All right, here we go. The moment we've all been waiting for, quite possibly the last thing that's been going to be put into cream in the crop. Hatsune Miki Miki Mika fucking um main menu screen st stream where that's all we did the whole entire time. What what is this? I think chaos. I think the tier three chaos. Because it was just me trolling chat and all my bullshit. Chaos, it seems where it, it belongs, I think. Was a $50 bit. It was worth it. I actually don't remember how much it cost. I think it's a good call to put in Chaos. If you weren't here for it, Hatsune Miku, Hatsune Miku is a, was me um, teasing chat, but it was also me trying to prove a point about, like, against... Okay, I, I don't know if... I have to say it now because I've said it. <clears throat> I don't like React streamers, Okay. Reacting to your own thing is fine. Reacting to someone's thing, if they want you to react to it, is also fine. But I don't like React streamers. I think reacting to something and and you get all the views from someone um, is really bullshit. Um, I don't think many people react to to what I do, probably because you know it's boring. But uh, I'm 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 happy about that. But there have been YouTubers that. I really like and I've seen big streamers and big youtubers react to their stuff and they get more views than the original and now everyone has seen it and they don't go watch the original and I think that's kind of horseshit now you may say that's hypocritical because you're a streamer you stream games games need to be played it's a different kind of experience most people who or a lot of people who who want to play the game will also play it in addition to watching it or will even play it first um I think that streamers, there might be some argument there that with some experiences, especially VNs, that it, it shouldn't be allowed. But I would say that I have almost certainly, I would actually stake my life on it, generated more income for game devs by streaming games for them than I have taken away. Like, I would stake my life that that's true. Um, whether that is true or not doesn't like, if that is true, that doesn't necessarily mean that it is 100% fine and ethical, but I would say that's the case. And I don't think you can say the same for React videos. Like, not by a long shot. I really don't think you can do that. Anyway, so the main menu stream was also me, like, riffing with chat, but it was also trying to prove that you don't need to be a React Andy if you have a good, good rapport with your chat and you know how to entertain people. <clears throat> if you really know how to stream, you should just be able to sit there and just talk to your chat. For, for like while you're doing nothing and you should be able to to 
hold them somewhat entertained and somewhat engaged. Maybe not everyone, maybe some people need it, but that was kind of like an experiment to see if I could do it and I could do it. Now that doesn't mean I can do it all the time. And sometimes, in fact, sometimes the game can actually detract from it because I'm so focused on the game like I have on Pizza Tower, but um, I wanted to show, hey, look, if you really know how to interact with your chat, you shouldn't you shouldn't need to be like, oh, well, I have to have content on the screen to react to. It's like, well, no, not really, not always, you know? But yeah, that's uh, that was that. But uh, more importantly, Hatsune, Hatsune, Miku, Hatsune Miku was the stream where Bikoi was birthed. So if you ever wanted to know where Bikoi Off Snow came from, which still needs to be an emote on, on Twitch, I guess, um, that's where it came from. Uh, we drew Bikoi. Imagine missing the Miku stream and you... Uh, you don't know where uh, where Bikoi came from? Yep. Bikoi Osf no. Although Bikoi didn't get his name until this one. Alright, 999. Let's let's put him up. Whoa, scrolled way down. 999, where'd it go? 999. Alright. Obviously, th this is cream of the crop. Probably the last thing that's going in cream of the crop. I don't think there's anything else that's going in cream of the crop. Alright. 999. Zero escape series, 999, nine persons, nine hours, nine doors. I'm not sure if that's right. Virtue's last reward and zero time dilemma. All right, so if I was to judge these as games, I would probably go, they get worse every game. I, I think I would go one, two, three. The zero, the escape rooms were the best in two, but the story was the best in one. And I think I value the story more than I value the escape rooms, I think. So they get worse every game. The story is almost great, and the peaks are really high in Virtue's Last Reward, but then it just utterly shits the bed at the end. As a stream, though, I gotta say, man, I'm kind of tempted to put the third one first. <sighs> and I'm almost tempted to put the first one last. I think maybe the stream just got better with every entry. I think it might be inversed. I don't know, man. I really liked the third one as a stream experience. It was really good. One and two is kind of up in the air. I don't know. Two got kind of miserable toward the end, but like sometimes you guys like it when I'm miserable. The first one had a great intro and it had a great uncovering the story. It was good. They're all cream as far as I'm concerned. Sorry if that's like, like tooting the cream horn a little too much. I shouldn't have said that. That was a gross thing to say. But uh, one and two is going to be hard to judge. I think the third one was the best one. So now the question becomes, okay, was Zero Time Dilemma better than Persona 4 as a stream? I don't think so. Was it better than Outer Wilds? I don't think so. I think it was better than Echoes of the Eye, but these two are together right now and they're linked. So like wherever Outer Wilds goes, Echo of the Eyes goes, Echo of the Eye goes. Is it better than Persona 5? <sighs> I don't think so, no. It doesn't feel right. Is it better than Fahrenheit? I think it is. I think it is. That, that feels right to me. I think that's where it goes. Yep. That feels right. I think that's where it goes. Now, do the other ones go with it? That feels right to me as well, I think. I think that feels right. It doesn't feel quite as right. Once I put zero escape there, zero time dilemma there, I was like, that feels right immediately. I'm looking at this and I'm like, should one of them go below Dangarampa 2? I don't know. Or below all the Danganronpa games. I don't know. Is Was 999 better than Danganronpa 2? I don't think so. I think Zero Escape was. Or Zero Time Dilemma was. Oh, this is hard. This is hard. 999 is better? You mean the game or the stream? The game is better, undoubtedly. But streams, I don't know. See, you know what? Now I want to fuck with the list a little bit more. I'm actually thinking of moving Fahrenheit down below Danganronpa 2. And interrupting the Danganronpa chain. And now I'm thinking of putting Virtue's Last Reward here and 999 here. Like, I, I think it goes like that. Because I think Danganronpa 2 is more enduring and better stream than Fahrenheit and Virtue's Last Reward. This feels this feels more right to me. Although I, I might want to tinker with it a little bit, but this feels kind of right to me. But what about the mummy? Ah, oh, I know it, it hurts. Th these are these are babies, man. Like I don't know. ZTD high ZTT is not higher than Persona Five. Even though I got to be a much better streamer, I think I, I still think Persona 5's legacy has endured longer than Z Zero Time Dilemma. Like like remember Z ZTD has recency bias on its side too, and I'm still hesitant. You know how are we gonna feel like three years from now? ZTD has less downtime. Oh man. Let him cook. <laughs> 
The Prosa Pagnasia bit was so good. Oh, man. I don't know, man. It was so funny. They are paced way better, aren't they? Oh, shit. This is so hard. It's up there, though. Like, look, 999 is above Danganronpa 1 and 3. Okay? It's above there. It's already... It's like it's just Danganronpa 2 just edges out slightly. Nagito, man. 2-5? The hype as fuck. What was what was what came close to his hype in 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 um in Danger uh, to two five in nine 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 and Virtue's Last Reward? What happened in Virtue's Last Reward with with shit was like it went against itself. Oh, but nine 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 has not again. Not again. Huh? Who, who the hell are you? Oh man. See, Fahrenheit is here because we value the lack of downtime and how quick of experience it is with all the funnies. And as slow as some of these other games are, they they are still like lightning fast compared to Danganronpa. Although Virtue's Last Reward does drag a little bit. 999 doesn't. 999's pace really well. This is so hard. Get fucked, Alice. Clover votes betray. Oh, Virtue's Last Reward has so many good moments. I'm moving it up. I can't. I can't. I have to. I'm moving it up. I'm moving it up. It's up one. Oh, it's up one. That's it. It's it's up one. All right, it's up one. All right, Fahrenheit nine nine nine. Fahrenheit nine nine nine. Is Fahrenheit better than nine nine nine? First stream. The moment. Duck soup. Not again. I'm I'm the CEO of a, a president of a pharmaceutical company. What about the mummy? Jumpy. Did you know? Oh, it is. It is. I'm sorry. It is. All right. It is. That's okay. Fahrenheit's down. It is. All right. <sighs> I think Danger that's as high as it goes. I think it's as high as it goes. Danganronpa 2 is still higher than 999. I I, ha I have to, I ha this is it. It's not going any higher. Okay? That's it. Okay, there we go. All right, we've done it. We've done that that's we've done the zero escapes. Oh, we've done it. We've done All right, what's next? Power Wash Simulator. All right, this is background noise for sure. Talking about Resident Evil series and shit and TV, definitely background noise. We we're just bullshitting. We we're just riffing. All right. Neon White. Neon White was a uh, chat ruined it. No, Neon White was a mistake. It was a mistake that we didn't play it more. We should have just kept going. If you liked it, like this is honestly, this should be next to Hitman because it's the same kind of thing. If you like the Hitman streams, then you loved it. If you love, if you like the Neon White streams, then you love them. You know what I mean? But they're not for everyone, and that makes it hard to judge. So it's like, I feel like Great Vegetables and Cream of the Crop have like majority appeal and Wish I'd Seen It Live are like, you know, more like niche appeal. But if you did really like it, you really liked it a lot. I, th I think it's there. I think I think it's next to Hitman. I think it was a fun time. Mitch Bros, it's over. The whole the whole leaderboard thing. I want to go back to it. So yeah, we should we should go. You would say that meme from Power Washing Stream though. <sighs> All right, I'll move it up a couple, a couple tiers in the background noise. We'll move it up to below Helltaker. There you go. All right, now we've got... I don't think... Oh, my God. All right, there are a couple of hard ones left. I, okay, you guys are going to have to, like, campaign real hard for Cream on some of these. But let's see. All right, I think Cream is done. God of War Ragnarok. All right, God of War Ragnarok had... I think it's definitely better than 2018. And 2018 is already in Wish I'd Seen It Live. I think this is a contender for Great Vegetables. It's at least number... It's at least number one in Wish I'd Seen It Live. Okay? At least number one. But it's possibly above celeste in great vegetables that's that's it's it's this is as high as it goes and this is as low as it goes so it's more into great vegetables i think than it is wish i'd seen it live all right so it's going up here where's ragnarok is it i think ragnarok i think it was better than katana zero i think it's here i think it's below celeste i, I think that's where i like it i think it was pretty good Recency, but maybe, but you know, it's hard to fight against that. I think that's some good jokes, some good gameplay. We riffed on the game a lot. We talked about it a bunch. I got a really good banger joke when I had, you know, told a chatter that they had their own wish, I, like, but but you uh, you never asked moment. That was pretty good. God of War Ragnarok was okay. The streams were pretty good though, weren't they? <sighs> music on, please. You guys want music back on? Okay. I thought you guys were tired of the music. Too high? Maybe. What one do we want? DP music was, I can't, we're not playing DP. We might get um, copyright claimed. I feel like this part of the list here is is the most contentious and possibly the one that, that, that we messed up the most. And by we, I mean the streamer we. I feel like this this could be scrambled a lot better. I don't know. No, I like the Ragnarok streams. I think they're going there. All right, 
Video commentaries. Okay, so video commentaries is one video, and the one video is I reacted to my own God of War 2018 critique. Um, I think this is probably... It's definitely not a decent baseline because it's it's different. I think it's probably wish I'd seen it live because then you could have asked me questions as we go, right? If you if you want it. This had the echo. The echo is pretty funny. That's true. I think it's wish I'd seen it live. How high is it though? Is it like the new number one or is it like below Doom Eternal? Like where where would it be? Because so like yeah, the the audio part of it was the best part. It's veg. It's veggies. Is there a VOD of that? Yeah, it's on YouTube. The audio part is at the end. I put it at the end. I don't think it's veggies. I think it's too, like in the same way that Hitman and Neon White are here, I think it's too, it has too much niche specific appeal to be great vegetables. Can you react to your Dark Souls video? Why would you do that to me? The Dark Souls one video? Oh, for fuck's sake. I mean, we'll probably do them all at some point, but okay, I don't know. I had fun doing this chat, but you're gonna have to tell me where it goes. Where does it go? People are saying, um, wish I saw, okay. Wish I saw it live seems right. I think it should go, let's put it above Hitman, okay? Let's put it down here. So it's not the top. The rankings within the tier are not really that important. They are important, don't get me wrong, but they're not really that important. So we're, we're putting it here, okay? You know what? Let's put it next to the God of War video because that's nice, right? I think that's nice. It fits. All right, what's next? Stray. Um, probably, like, it was just filling time before the award show, right? Mistake, background noise. I'd rather watch another Canadian stream Super Auto Pets. I think it's just like noise just to fill it. We were just filling a silence until until this, the award show started, right? It's kind of the definition of background noise. Yeah, it's background noise for sure. All right, that's it. Life is strange. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, let's do this backwards. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Life is strange too, like actually a mistake. Life is strange, two colors. I don't even think it made good background background noise. Like Life is Strange True Colors, I think is either a mistake, but it's not as big of a mistake as Life is Strange 2. Also a mistake. Captain Spirit, easily like a mistake, but it was kind of set up for the next one for Life is Strange 2, which ended up sucking. So I think these are all, all mistakes, all right? But it was probably the best of these three, right? Okay, now we get to Life is Strange Before the Storm and Life is Strange 1. All right, Life is Strange 1 is gonna be hard to judge. Let's move it up the list. Let's put, it, let's put them both in chaos until the chaos settles and we find order. Okay, all right, here we go. Life is Strange 1. I think Life is Strange 1 was actually a pretty good set pretty good bunch of streams. I quite like them. I'm quite partial to them. They had a bunch of good jokes in them. McReady, um, Max is a psychopath. The that's true meme, but I, I you know, I, I, I'm going to need three more, that sort of thing. High whore, you know, high whore, high whore, stupid gun. There, there is a lot of, um, David Madsen. I feel like life is strange has, is the only thing on this list that is going to have recency bias working against it because we haven't seen how much legs Life is Strange has right now. Shot in the leg, yes sir. Yeah, I, th I think I think it has legs. Hella? Low cream for sure. You think you think it's as good as cream? You know what? I kind of agree with you. However, I think chat is gonna be in revolt. I think the highest we're gonna get without, without a mutiny is great vegetables. And I think over time, if we did another tier list five years from now, I think Life is Strange is gonna hit cream. Most people, see, yeah, see? Most people seem veggies. All right, we're putting in veggies, however, it's high veggies. I'm putting it above heavy rain. I think life is strange was more fun than heavy rain. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. All right. Now the even harder one. Okay. Is life is strange before the storm, a brutally boring slog of a game with nothing going on. However, the last hour of that stream is just peak stream content. Absolute peak. The, this has to be a dream. It's not. And then reading the reviews afterwards, like it is acted like, how do you judge? How do you judge an hour of cream against, I don't know, 10 hours of fucking mistake. <laughs> I don't know. Reverse, reverse y Yakuza. That's true. And my argument there was how could something that is cream for so much not be cream ultimately by the end. So how is something that was shit for so much not be shit by the end? It has to be a mistake. It has to be. It has to be. I think it has to be. High mistake? No, it's like the highest mistake is, is the best thing on here. So whatever's last is the worst thing on here. So what is like Life is Strange 2 and is actually like really bad. The rest of these kind of things are just kind of forgettable. Like just, just maybe there should have been like a one-off part, but this, this is fine. It's all right. 
All right, Dead Space Remake. Let's get this out of the way right now. Dead Space Remake was just, just background noise. Kind of a mistake. Just throw it on there. You know what? It was a mistake. I shouldn't have streamed that. I thought it was going to be fine. It's a mistake. Let's put it like like above, like right here. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. Yeah, for sure. All right. Alciminium Files. All right, this is going to be spicy. This one's going to be fucking spicy as fuck. All right, I don't know. It's between cream and vegetables. It's cream of mushroom soup for sure. Somnium. 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 Oh, chat thinks it's cream. Cream for the chat. It's chatnip. Oh, man. I'm hesitant to agree. It, I feel like we just got done playing this. It's hard to, to judge its legacy compared to Persona 5. If it's cream, like, I think it's... I don't know, actually. You know what? Anyone else thinking Xenoblade Chronicles 2 doesn't really look like it belongs in there anymore? <laughs> All right, Alciminium Files, where is it going? It's top veggies if it's not in cream. So let's put it there. It's at least here and it's at most here. I can't do it, chat. I can't, I can't put it. I can't put it in cream. I can't do it. I, I, I don't, I think it's too soon. I don't think I can put it in cream. Like it, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right at all. <sighs> pussy, <laughs> what do you mean pussy? <laughs> Uh, thank you. Okay, chat. You're saying that the AI Somnium file streams were better than, than Yakus? They were better than Disco Elysium? Oh, now we're more split. Now we're more split. Ooh. So it's low cream. Here's the thing though. I kind of agree that AI Somnium should possibly be below these two, but below Xenoblade Chronicles 2 seems like a crime. Okay, you know what? It can dip in the cream a little bit, all right? Marbles, marbles is default lowest cream because it's kind of cheating because it brings the voting game with it. Lowest, lowest cream. It's in cream though. Chat wins again, all right? Chat wins again. Is Xenoblade Chronicles 2 still cream? Okay, you know what? More people think that AI Somnium is, is cream than Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I think maybe Xenoblade Chronicles 2 should be the lowest cream. What do you think about that? What are these Xenoblade Chronicle 2 stands like in the in the chat? What's more? Here we go. Here we go. What's more cream? Oh, oh, look at the change. Oh, the ratio. Holy shit. BTFO. Look at all. Wow. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 fans really great at typing like support in the chat. Not really good at voting. Damn. What a vocal minority that just got ousted. Ho, ho, ho. Somnium fans, the chats of the R would rather let their votes do the talking than type in chat. All right, there you go. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 just dropped right below Alciminium files. There we go. Done. Done. All right, what's next? Let's change the music. This is looped a couple times. Let's do um, Enter the Dragon's Den. Okay, it's I turned it up a little bit. Hopefully it's fine. Okay. All right. All right. We got, I think there's only two more spicy ones coming up. Everything else we kind of we kind of know. All right. This is one of the spicy ones. All right. Hypnospace Outlaw. You know what? There are three spicy ones coming out. Hypnospace Outlaw. This is going to be hard. It's cream. Oh, uh, see, this is what I was afraid of. Was it really cream? Pure cream? I agree. I think they were granny cream. <laughs> granny cream. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, now veggies are winning. Oh, the Xenoblade fans are angry. They're angry. Oh, shit. When did this become a democracy? I think recency bias for Hypnospace, but history will redeem it. Yeah, I'm not sure either. I think it was pretty fun. A lot of people weren't here for it though. There are more people here right now than there were for most of the Hypnospace streams. So there might be a lot of people voting that weren't even here for it and they just want to defend their weeb games that are in the cream of the crop. And that makes me want to put Hypnospace up there, you know, to fight against the weeb conglomerate. However, I don't I also want to admit that there's recency bias and that game was really for me. And I do know that there were parts of it, especially in the last stream that got a little slow. Always accusing chat of missing. Hey, chatter, there's a thousand peop more people here now than there were for the average of the Hypnospace streams. That means there's a thousand more chances of, of people voting who didn't even watch those streams, who just want to be like, no, I like the status quo as it is. The weeb conservatives of chat are in there. Just the website that crude oil made is worth cream. That's, oh, uh, that's true. That was it. We are judging the streams, not the game too. And that is part and parcel of it. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. It's gotta be cream. It's gotta be cream. All right, it's gotta be. Where is it though? 
Okay, that's as high as I'm comfortable putting it, all right? Because because the recency bias, that's as high as I'm comfortable putting it. Now it may come to pass that in years to come, it might it might be it might be like this high. Who knows? But that's that's as high as I'm comfortable putting it, okay? That's as high as I'm comfortable putting it, all right? That's as high as I'm comfortable putting it, all right? That's it, okay? All right, there we go. There we go. Okay. The hamster farting that makes me want to get a, a fart machine for the streams to, to, to have on a random interval. I want to get a magic orb like 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 <laughs> hello great vegetable like just just so, so so many funny moments. But again, it's like have to return to it, you know, like I haven't watched any part of the Hypnospace Outlaw streams back. Usually I watch some parts of the streams back, especially the 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 the, the, the bangers and I haven't done that yet. So it's, it's hard to judge. Rip Nanako. We still quote it. All right. All right, two more spicy ones left. However, I think that we can safely say that Half-Life 1 is decent baseline, right? Where is it? Like maybe around Messenger? D decent baseline Half-Life 1, right? Th these these are easy, right? These are easy. We're just going through games. We're just checking them out. Easy, 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 easy. Right. Opposing Force, I'm going to say is around the same area, just, just a little worse. I'm going to say Blue Shift is possibly like background noise. At that point, people are checked out. It was kind of boring and the game wasn't all that great. Easy. Okay. Half-Life 2 is the next spicy one. It has a trolley on it. How, how do we judge this strat? Because to some extent, it's up here. Okay. Like if you, if you were vibing with the bullshit, like it's literally there. Okay. Like, like actually unironically, it's there. If you were vibing with it. Like if you weren't though, like it's, it's like, like down here at best, like maybe even down to decent baseline. Honestly, you know what? If you weren't vibing with it, I'd rather watch an, another Canadian stream super auto pets. Actually, you know what? It just keeps tumbling down because like, if you weren't vibing with it, you're like, why the fuck is he wasting all this time? You know what I mean? Super, super divisive. So I don't, how do we judge this? How do we judge the trolley Chan Chronicles? I gotta say, I'm feeling diplomatic right now. I kind of want to put it top great vegetables. I know that's going to upset some of you. In fact, maybe it's going to upset all of you. I kind of feel like top great vegetables is as high as this can go. It was it was cream to me too. And it is my list, right? It is my list. Like I, I had so much fun doing a bunch of stuff. But however, as the streamer, I also have to like factor in chat's enjoyment to some extent. And I know that like as much as great as they were, they weren't good performers. A good compromise pisses everyone off. I know, isn't it great? What is the poll? The poll says cream, but it's pre-split. However, most people are not. Oh, okay, have have, mo have some of you gone back and watched the vods now and have and have come over to the trolley chan side, huh? Or are people voting strategically, thinking if they they make it veggies, they won't get a spiteful "fuck you, it's going in cream" rebuttal? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do here. It's more tolerable on fast speed with highlight. Yeah, that, that's a that's a hard thing to judge too, right? There, most people don't watch the streams back like live. They watch them sped up or the highlights. Okay, let's leave it for now. Let's move on. Let's finish the list and then we'll return to it because we're almost done. All right, Half Life One, episode, Half Life Two, Episode One. Again, decent baseline. I think it was a little bit above that one. Um, Half Life Two, Episode Two. Again, I think it was a little better than that, but it's still decent baseline. There was no, there was nothing like like outstanding that happened in these streams it was just like you know it, it, normal stuff you know what i mean like it's it's fine you know like no, it wasn't a bad stream but it was just like going through the motions let's write my chat let's have some fun all right hunt down the freeman really fun at the beginning but then kind of became a slog but we got through it pretty fast it's not cream it's not cream it's at best wish i'd seen it live and at worst a mistake it's not cream no way i'm not putting this in cream Chaos is like the, I really, I really liked it, but not that much dumping ground. W wish I had saw it live. Lower. <sighs> it's the same as Miku. Miku is in chaos. Nah, I don't, I don't see this as being in chaos. Hunt down the frame. I think it was more entertaining the beginner's guide. Possibly more entertaining the Mario Odyssey. I don't think it's decent base baseline. It was definitely about background noise. Chat ruined it for everyone. This feels right, actually. I think it was a more entertaining stream. It was kind of boring in parts though. Oh man, someone is upset. You should be able to shoot him. He literally doesn't have any more light. That was pretty funny. It did have some funny moments. Now I'm leaving it there. I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay, I think that's it. All right, Black Mesa, I think is decent baseline. Is there any argument for wish I'd seen it live? Cause it was pretty fun. The end was pretty fun, but I think it was more, more of the same, more decent baseline. And, and it was the, the Zen parts that were, that were, uh, the, the draw there. And it took us a while to get there. I think, I think that's right. Forspoken, 
All right, Gravity Rush isn't even done yet. And I think it's more of like a decent or background noise. Let's put it in, in uh, let's put it in decent, but it's not done yet. Let's put it around here. Pizza Tower is uh, chat fucking ruined it for everyone easily. Factorio is a mistake easily. Tier list, we're, we're doing it right now. Um, Forspoken, all right, where's Forspoken? I don't know what Forspoken is. People who are watching Forspoken on the weekend, like you're showing us specifically for that. Is it background noise just to have it on to see if something funny happens? Or is it decent baseline? Like as a stream, I don't feel like it's that entertaining as a stream. I feel like we're watching it ironically. It's chaos. I don't think it's chaos. I think it's background noise, but sometimes there's more people there for anything else. But last, last week, it wasn't that great. We'll see how it happens on this Saturday. There was less people. Chat chaos. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's put it low, low tier chaos, okay? Low tier chaos. That's a good point. We'll put it in the bottom of chaos because of what happened in the first stream, okay? It it earns chaos. It, it's earned its spot in the chaos thing. All right, so the last spicy decision until we, and then we have to figure out what's the best stream and then we have to figure out where Trolley Chan is going. Where the fuck does Deadly Premonition go? DP is too soon for cream. I agree. Gonna catch a killer, the wrinkle killer. The curse of Greenville. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, I think veggies is the right place for it. I think it could go up to cream later. I need to process it a bit. It's very hard for me to judge. I think it could go up to cream later. Is it above the Ace Attorney games? Oh, this is hard. Oh, this is hard. Jedi Fallen Order. Oh, like to me, it's comparable with Jedi Fallen Order. It really is. It's in the it's in the right ranking, but where's the hierarchy? Does it does it really matter? I don't think it matters that much. It just, I feel kind of bad putting it below the Ace Attorney games, because I really enjoyed Deadly Premonition, but it's still so soon. Okay, it's above Bug Snacks and Reseteer for sure. This is as low as it goes, and this is as high as it goes. I think I'm putting it here. I think it has to go there. I feel bad about this. Yeah, I don't know. I think that I think that's where it goes. Okay, all right. So now we have the tier list down here, and now we have where where does Trolley Chain go? We've had some time to think about it. It's 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 simmered a little bit. Where does Half Life Two Trolley Trolley Chain Chronicles go? See, my my immediate reaction after I said that was, how can it not be cream? Because to me, like there's there's different sides of why you want to watch my streams. Sometimes you want me to rip into an anime game or or see a story. Very rarely you want me to you want to see me play a game at, at, at like as and get into game mechanics and talk about um about like critique stuff. And sometimes you just want me all my bullshit. And like, is there? I think Trolley Chain was just peek me all my bullshit. So for one of the major facets of the streams and the and the draw and the appeal that they have, I feel like that that was peak. So how can it not be cream? I'm putting it in cream, but it's it's gonna be below Xenoblade Chronicles 2. It's squeaking in with some cream, okay? It's squeaking in with cream. All right, here we go. That's it. All right, that's it. All right. Now, let's let's review the rankings and see if we want to move anything around. I don't think I think cream is pretty much locked in. I don't think we wanna we wanna mess around with this at all. Although the top three, we have to decide which one of these is being elevated to outer heaven. Okay, here we go. This is locked in. Great vegetables. Do any of these go up? I don't think so. I think this is pretty This is pretty good. This is the good order here. Life is strange. Heavy rain. Yeah, for sure. Oh, heavy rain below. No, no, it's it, it was paced much better. All right. Deadly Premonition, Bug Snacks, Reseteer, Village. You know what? I'm moving Resident Evil 7 down to wish i saw it live i don't think it deserves to be in great vegetables catherine celeste god of war ragnarok i know that's contentious but that that's that's my pick that's what i like slay the spire up there for sure until dawn katana zero oh no it was pretty good all right chaos chaos seems pretty good yep i don't see anything else anything wrong with chaos wish i'd seen it live resident evil 7 doom eternal code vein Resident Evil 2, Hitman, Neon White, Video Commentaries, God of War 2018, Stanley Parable, Doki Doki, Vampire Masquerade, Untitled Deuce Game, Dusk, Hunt Down the Freeman, Odyssey, Beginner's Guide. Yeah, this seems good for me as well. All right, decent baseline. Is there anything, any to, like retooling we can do here? Portal 2, Portal 1, that's a good order. Devil May Cry 5, Resident Evil, sorry, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, the Half-Life block. I think the Messenger should be higher than the Half-Life block. I don't know if anything else should be though. We kind of put them in the middle just just to get them in here. 
Should Blasphemous be higher than the Half-Life block? No, this, this seems about right. This, the order of these doesn't matter too much. I'm okay with this. It, like we could, we could fuss and tweak this forever. I'm okay with this though. This is all right. Gravity Rush might move up a little bit too. Putting Gravity Rush, you know what? I think Gravity Rush is above Resident Evil 3. I like Gravity Rush's movement a lot. It feels really fun to play. I like, but we're not done yet. So I don't want to put it too high. Subnautica too low. I've watched those VODs multiple times. Really? You like the Subnautica VODs a lot? You know what, Chattered? Because of you, I'm going to put it up next to the messenger. There you go. I moved it up. You've convinced me. All right. Background noise. Bayonetta. Yeah, it's sad. That sucks, but it's there. Into the Breach. Yep. Yeah. Near Automata is only there because it was one of my first streams and I wasn't really good at it. So that's why that's why it's low, okay? Maybe we should revisit that after Replicant maybe at some point. Ashen, yeah, it makes sense. Helltaker was kind of like a, a, an impromptu kind of nothing stream. Power Simulator, yeah. These these all feel right to me. Hyperlight Drifter feels a, a bit a bit bad to put that there, but I barely remember it. That was the problem. Um, Gorgoa, Vampire Sword. Yeah, this, this seems about right. You know what? I'm putting Blue Shift above these two. I'd rather watch another Canadian stream Super Auto Pet. Silent Hill 2 is here because how else could it be? Hades is up there. Uh, for no reason at all, I'm going to move Enter the Gungeon up here too, next to the other roguelike, for no reason at all. Oh, you know what's missing out of these ones? Oh, we did it for Q&A. I was going to see, like, we did Binding of Isaac once for Q&A. All right, Hob, Ruiner, I Have No Mouth, uh, and I Must Scream, Hotline Miami, I Can't Call. Yeah, this seems about right. Yeah, Mistake. Delta Room is a mistake we should have waited. All right, the ranking of Mistake is just a clusterfuck, but who cares? They're mistakes. We don't really need, we don't really need to, um, to uh, rank the mistakes all that well. It's fine. Chat, fucking ruined it for everyone. Yep, for sure. Monster Hunter World, yep. Dark Souls Remake, yep. Wander Song and Pizza, yeah, this is good. Not even Joe remember streaming this. This was the first Hollow Knight stream. I don't, like, yeah, I don't remember it. Um, and the other ones we decided didn't really count all that much. Hat Time, don't really remember it. Dark, we don't really remember it. Yeah, I don't really remember any of these. Yeah, okay, and that's that, okay, that's that. All right, so now, now comes the, the most important thing we have to do. How do we rank? this stream and i can't think of a better way to rank it than to let the wheel decide all right so let's put it on cream of the crop cream great vegetables chaos wish i'd seen live uh what's next decent baseline background noise i'm not putting best stream on there no way we don't, we don't want to play as uh, that again 100 mil off marble races. Eric, do we want to go below decent baseline? Mista mistake on there would be funny. Rather watch another Canadian mistake. I think that's it. I think that's all we need to do. Ch chat room. <laughs> all right, here we go. Here we go. All right, here we go. Spin. Oh, it wasn't a mistake. It wasn't a mistake. Done. All right, shuffle. You know what? Let's let's get the other music on. Oh, rather watch another Canadian gone, gone. Chaos, chaos is gone. Chaos would have worked because it's it's the wheel, but okay, chaos is gone. All right, cream. Oh, it wasn't cream. The wheel has decided this was not worth cream. Cream is fucking gone. All right, Eric is so good at dodging. Holy crap! All right, what what's next? Chat ruined it. Chat, you're safe. Chat didn't ruin it. Maybe Joe ruined it. Eric is safe. Decent baseline. All right, the best we're gonna hope for now is great veg. Oh, background noise is gone. All right, background noise is gone. All right, we at least have decent baseline. All right, at least. Oh, decent baseline. Gone. Oh, great vegetables. Oh no, it wasn't that great. All right, so we have Eric, wish I'd seen live or a hundred mil off the marble race. Get the fuck out of here, Eric. Get the fuck out of here, Eric. All right, here we go. Wish I'd seen live or 100 million off the marble races. Eric is gone. Oh, dodged. Wish I'd seen live is the winner. Get fucked anime watchers. Get fucked. Wish I'd seen live is the winner. All right. Wish I'd seen live. All right. We'll put it. We'll put it at the bottom because it's like it's 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 new. All right. All right. So now, now we have a decision to make. What is the best stream? I think I know. I think I know. Okay. I have moved it up there. Oh wait. Hold on. I only moved one of them up there. All right. K chat. Let let us remove. The, let's let's get rid of the poll. 
and I, I will make a bet with you, okay? Let's wait the poll go. I want you to put a new poll, Persona 4 versus Outer Wilds, and you all vote. And if you vote, you get it right, I will take 100 million off the marble races. As a, as a fun for the 100,000, 100, one coin, one million for every follower, okay? Or whatever, whatever the hell it is, all right? I'll take 100 million. Would it be 100 for every follower? 100 for every, it would be 100, wouldn't it? Or would it be 1,000? Would it be 1,000? Math is hard. All right. So if you get it wrong, get it wrong, you don't you don't get it. So there you go. I'll take 100 million off if you get it right. Okay. My, my finger is hovering over the window capture thing to bring it back. Here we go. As soon as the vote's done. Well done, chat. Well done. All right. So here's the tier list of all the streams that we've done in the past however many years. Feels pretty good. How many anime games are on here, though? For real. Is it the majority? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. All right, there we go. Persona 4 Golden, I think, is the best stream series we've ever done. Then Outer Wilds, then Persona 5, then Zero, Zero Time Dilemma, then Virtue's Last Reward, then Danganronpa 2, then 999, then Fahrenheit. Surprise, that's that high. V3, into Danganronpa 1, Detroit, Beyond Two Souls, Undertale, Disco Elysium, Yakuza 0, Alcimanium Files, Hypnospace Outlaw, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and then Half-Life 2, Trolley Chain Chronicles, and then the Marble thing. I think though, I think that's a that's a good spread. That's a pretty good spread. There we go. There we go. All right. Game two. We're doing that right now. We're doing that right now. We can do this really fast. Okay. Let's see. Stanley Parable. Stanley Parable. I think is kind of like a. Now we're voting the games. Okay. How how the how the games are. Okay. This is just just ranking the games. All right. Spoilers. Most of them are going to be in like the three out of five, six out of ten. All right. Three out of five is better than six out of ten. Okay. Stanley Parable probably six out of ten. Neo. I think three out of five. Uh, they are billions. I actually quite like they are billions. I think I'm gonna put it a three out of five. Hotline Miami. Mm, I think two out of five. I didn't really care for it that much. Titanfall 2, mm, a little too short, 6 out of 10. Undertale, 5 out of 5. Stardew Valley, oh man, I gotta give it a 5 out of... Uh, with Expanded and everything, and every, uh, I can't keep back, it's gotta be a 5 out of 5. Darkwood, um, didn't finish lol. Uh, Mario Galaxy 1 is a 5 out of... No, that's a... Mario Galaxy 2 is better, so we'll put it up there. Zelda Chronicles 2, 6 out of 10. Doki Doki Lit Club, really hard to judge, but we're gonna go 6 out of 10. Game Events, uh, not a game. Um, Zelda DLC didn't finish lol. Hello Neighbor, uh, one out of five. Metal Gear Rising, oh, I really like Metal Gear Rising, but I only played it once. So I think we're going to go with six out of 10. Anti-Chamber, two out of five, sorry. Don't Starve, I love Don't Starve, but there's been some of that content I've never seen, so I can't justify it in the highest tier. I'm going to put it in three out of five. Gore Goa, it was kind of cool, I guess, but not my favorite. I'm going to give it two out of five. Getting over it. Surprisingly, I really like getting over it. I'm going to put it there. Beginner's Guide. I really like the Beginner's Guide, but it's hard for me to justify putting out a five out of five. I'm going to put it here. Rest of tier. Also love it, but top tier can't really justify it. Terraria. Same, same shit. I love Terraria, but I can't justify it. Iconoclast. Didn't finish lol. Lisa. I liked it, but six out of 10. Subnautica. So... You know, keep in mind, 6 out of 10 is actually 3 out of 5, and 3 out of 5 is actually 4 out of 5, okay? Uh, Subnautica, I really like Subnautica. Oh, it's a high 3 out of 5. You know what? Let's kill the meme. Let's change it to 4 out of 5. I feel bad. There you go. That's better now. All right, I feel better about this now. Okay, uh, Celeste, 5 out of 5, easy. Uh, Papers, please? Mm, I think 3 out of 5. Shadow of the Colossus? Uh, I love Shadow of the Colossus. It's got to be a 5. I love Shadow of the Colossus so much. Persona 5... It's a high four. Doom, 2018, th high three out of five. God of War Trilogy, because of the third game, I'm going to give this a high three out of five. If it was individually, the third game would be a four out of five. The other two would be a three, two out of five. Uh, God of War, 2018, um, high four out of five. No, there is no like 4.5. Let's put it in five out of five. Dark Souls Remastered, we didn't finish it, lol. Uh, Moonlighter, didn't finish it, lol. House Flipper, didn't finish it, lol. Prey Moon Crash, didn't finish it, lol. Dangan Rampa, Dangan Rampa's gotta be a four. Two Point Hospital, didn't finish it, lol. Messenger, I actually really like the Messenger. I think I'm gonna put it a four out of five. Bayonetta, Bayonetta, I like Bayonetta, four out of five. Spider-Man, didn't finish it, lol. Dangan Rampa 2, Dangan Rampa 2, oh. I'm being kind of loose. It's not a perfect game. This is a ranking of like like top tier games that we played on stream. I'm going to put it at the top. I really like Danganronpa around, but too. Until Dawn, mm, three out of five. Silent Hill t number one, I'll give this a... It's more like kind of like a tech demo kind of thing. 
like a proof of concept more than anything else like that it was it was barely a, a game but i did enjoy it especially for the time like it's fucking old as fuck man let's go three out of five Silent Hill 2, you know what? I also think 3 out of 5, it's fine. A little bit, maybe a little bit above Silent Hill 1. I have noticed by I'm a Scream, I don't think I enjoyed it that much. I think 2 out of 5. Alien Isolation, also 2 out of 5. Red Dead Redemption 2, didn't finish it lol. V3 is higher than Danganronpa 2, so it's up there. Um, Ashen, Ashen's a 3 out of 5, I think. Gree, or some say Gris. Oh, uh, I mean, it was very pretty, but that's not usually what I like to go out of games. Like, it feels mean to put this 2 out of 5, but that's how it feels to me. Below, didn't finish it, lol. Path of Exile, can't finish it, lol. Also, 1 out of 5. <laughs> Dusk was really good. 4 out of 5. Into the Breach, I love Into the Breach, but I haven't played it much off stream myself, so I'm going to give it 4 out of 5. FTL, 3 out of 5. Catherine, oh, high 3 out of 5. Resident Evil 2, high 3 out of 5. Slay the Spire, 4 out of 5. Portal 1, oh, I'm going to put Portal 2. Uh, how can Portal not be a 5 out of 5? Especially, like, it's got to be. Same with Portal 2. It's got to be, man. It's got to be. Wargroove, didn't finish it, lol. Remnant, didn't finish it, lol. Control, eh, I give it a 3. Greedfall, didn't finish it, lol. Blasphemous, I'll also give it a 3. High 3. Search 2, didn't finish it. Noida, didn't finish it. Code Vein, also a 3. Untitled Goose Game, eh, it was cute. 3. Katana 0, I really like Katana 0. I don't know if it's a 4, though. Let's give it a 4. We're trying to rank things fast and loose. Outer Worlds didn't finish it lol. Delmer Cry, 5, 4. Uh, Death Stranding, also a 4, I think. Jedi Fallen Order, also a 4. Disco Elysium, 5 out of 5. Easy. Jump King, mm, honestly, if I was playing on my own, I wouldn't play it. It's a 2 out of 5. Hades, I mean, I don't hate it. Let's go 3. Resident Evil 3, I'm going to give that a 2. Like, what the fuck were they doing? Doom Eternal, 5 out of 5. Fucking awesome game. One of my favorites of all time. Mortal Shell, very low 3. Outer Wilds, 5 out of 5. What's this? Hellpoint, didn't finish it, lol. Ace Attorney, 1? I'm going to give a four ace attorney two i'm also gonna give a four ace attorney three i'm giving a five out of five uh delta rune didn't finish it lol yakuza zero i'm gonna give a really high four out of five genshin impact didn't finish it lol <laughs> bug snacks i'm gonna give a three to bug snacks cyberpunk oh well i played it off stream does that count controversial chat i'm giving cyberpunk a four out of five i actually really like cyberpunk i had a good time with it fahrenheit ironically it's a five out of five like it's so fucking funny helltaker uh, two um heavy rain two beyond two souls one detroit become human i'm gonna give a three vampire the masquerade bloodlines also a three hitman Okay, I love the concept, but I didn't play it enough to judge yet on my own to fuck around. I'm going to give it a high three, but it could definitely be a four, maybe even a five. Marbles doesn't count. Persona 4 Golden, um, I'm going to put that next to Persona 5. I prefer Persona 5, but they're both four out of five. Vampire Survivors is like a five out of five. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. I'm sorry. M Village, I mean, it's got to be a four, right? It's got to be a four above Resident Evil 7. Um, Echoes of the Eye, five out of five, right next to Outer Wilds. Wander Song, I didn't really like it, sorry. Gonna give it a 2. 999, I love 999, but I can't justify giving it a 5. Oh, I can. I can. Alright, Hatsune Miku didn't, didn't even play it, lol. Virtue's Last Reward, um, 4, but it's a pretty fl flawed, flawed f 4. Power Wash, didn't finish it. Neon White, didn't finish it. Zero uh, Time Dilemma is, again, probably a 4. It's really funny. Ragnarok is a 4. Uh, video commentaries doesn't count. Stray didn't finish it. Life is Strange is... Uh, Life is Strange 1 is probably a high 3, maybe 3.5. Life is Strange Before the Storm, 1. Captain Spirit, 1. Life is Strange 2, 1. True Colors, 1. Alcimanium Files, believe it or not, it's a 4. I really liked Alcimanium Files. Dead Space Remake didn't finish it. Hypnospace, oh. I haven't gone back in and done the side content. I'm going to give it a high 4. Half-Life 1... High three. Opposing force, also a high three. Blue shift, kind of pointless. One. Half-Life 2, I'm going to give a five out of five. It really aged all that well. It really aged well. Half-Life Episode 1, kind of waste of time. I'm going to put that in four. Half-Life 2, half Episode 2, five. Hunt Down the Freeman, five out of five. Nah, I'm going to give it a two. Black Mesa, honestly, four. I really like Black Mesa. It was really good. Um, Forspoken, five out of five. It's a two right now. Deadly Premonition, I'm going to give a four. Factorio is a 5 out of 5. 
Pizza Tower didn't finish it yet. Gravity Rush didn't finish it yet. Tier list didn't finish it yet. Okay, there you go. That's ranking the games. Now, I, w I would mess around with these and put them in different, different, um, different orders. But that's how, that's what I would, uh, I would have the games ranked right now. They, like, within the hierarchy, I'm not sure if they're the same one. But that's how I would rank the games that we played. I can clean this up right now. Of the games up here, I would probably put Outer Wilds, Doom Eternal, Hollow Knight. Under oh, these are these are bangers, man. Celeste is up here too. Marrow Galaxy Two is up there. Shadow Colossus would probably be kind of low on the list, but it would definitely be higher than Half Life and Vampire Survivors Fahrenheit. Disco Elysium is up here. Echoes of the Eye is up here with Outer Wilds. God of War is not that high. I'd probably put it Factorio. I'd probably put a little higher than that. I'm just kind of fussing with the list real quick. Uh, Ragn I think God of War is better than Dengarampa. Uh, Ace Attorney is probably better written than Dengarampa V3. Mario Galaxy 2. Uh, Stardew seems really high for me on this list right now. I'm tinkering a little bit. Half-Life 2 has to be above these. I like gameplay games more than story games. Okay, that list looks better. I think I would tinker with it a little bit more, but that looks better than for what we played right now. Um, four out of five. Man, this is a lot. Don't Starve. I, I really love Don't Starve. Getting over it's probably going to be low. Cyberpunk is also going to be low. It's a very low four out of five. Reseteer, also probably low, although I did like it quite a bit. Messenger, a bit low. Death Stranding, somewhere in the middle. Evil, with Evil Within. Is Evil Within really a four? I think Evil Within is actually a high three. Jedi Fallen Order is pretty high. I really like Jedi Fallen Order. Subnautica is really high up there too. God of War Ragnarok is high up there. This 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 looks pretty good right now, actually. Okay, Monster Hunter World is not that high for me. I think I would put it a little bit lower. Okay, th there's nothing that's sticking out to me right now. Uh, Near Automata. Uh, I think I prefer the Zero Escape games to Near Automata. I think I would I think I would move it down a little bit. Three out of five. Evil Within, Detroit Become Human. Hitman, I think, is up there. Evil Within 2. I think I prefer the first one. Detroit, Life is Strange, Silent Hill 2, Mario. Mario Odyssey is is, is a fine game. Um, If I was to play Mario Odyssey or Half-Life again right now, I think I'd rather play Mario Odyssey than Half-Life 1 again. Cuphead, Cuphead, I like, but I don't love. I think I'm going to move that down. I think I'd rather play Code Vein again than Cuphead. Mortal Shell, Bug Snacks, Hades. Untitled Goose Game is probably the worst one in here. Papers, Please is not a game I would like to play again. Um, Stanley Parable is fine fine but it's not fantastic until dawn i'd move down doom i'd probably move above half-life one resident Evil two i'd probably put above catherine see i'm just kind of tinkering with the list a little bit okay one out of five what is the worst game here life is strange 2 for sure then probably before the storm then true colors Captain Spirit just kind of, you know what? Captain Spirit's just a nothing. Um, Blue Shift is really low. Beyond Two Souls. Path of Exile is probably the best one on this list. Uh, you know what? Path of Exile is like a meme pick. Like, who cares? Hello Neighbor. You know what? Hello Neighbor is better than Beyond Two Souls. Why not? Okay. Hunt Down the Freeman better than the First Spoken is hilarious. All right, that's my list. There we go. Done. What do you think? ZTD over Life is Strange? What do you mean? Zero Time Dilemma over Life is Strange? Where is it? I don't even know my own list. Oh, they're down here. Life. Where's Life is Strange? Life is Strange is here. Zero Time Dilemma is up here. Oh, are you saying, why is ZTD above Life is Strange? Like, ZTD was hilarious, man. Like, I like Life is Strange, but I think I prefer ZTD more. Do, do, do. Where will 13 Sentinels be? Um, not finished, Lameo. Didn't finish, for sure. Do, do. How is Mortal Shell that high? Where is Mortal Shell? Is it Mortal Shell in the 3 out of 5? It's right here, Mortal Shell. Mortal Shell's all right. What do you mean, how is it that high? Look how low it is. Look how much scrolling we have to do to get that. It's, it's right here. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Who just won 2.1 million? I think Resident Evil 2 should be higher. Maybe. Uh, you, do, do you think it should be in the 4 out of 5 range? Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, this is my fast and dirty list of ranking all the games that we played on stream. But there you go. What happened to the True Colors? You didn't hate after you finished it? It was just a waste of time. It just went nowhere. Do you want me to bump it up to 2 out of 5? I can if you want, but that's like being like super charitable. It's just a nothing game. It's like, wh why did it? Why did this exist out of 10? Ragnarok should be higher? Nah, I don't think so. Maybe it should be higher within its tier. Yeah, I'll put Ragnarok higher than Black Mesa and possibly some... Mm. You know what? You're right. Ragnarok should be the highest out of 4 out of 5. Yeah, you're right. I do like Ragnarok quite a lot. But Ragnarok has recency bias against it that it was like really, really disappointing to me. Jedi Fallen Order was that good? Well, I can't separate my experience of breaking it on stream and having just a fucking blast and having a lot of fun. So like it's it's hard for me to, to do that. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. As, as, as Souls like went in terms of pure gameplay, Neo is above it. You know, Neo, Neo should probably be higher actually. Again, want to stress, quick and dirty list chat. Really quick and dirty list, all right? I would fuss with this for a while. 
like I might have missed something down here in one of them that might be way better than any of the other ones that are there, okay? So th this is it, this is it. So there, there's the list, and then here's the stream list, okay? Best stream that we ever did, apparently, is Persona 4 Golden. I agree with this. And there we go. Vampire Survivors 505. Vampire Survivors is a banger game. If you want a chill out game, you know, like you gotta judge a game for what it's trying to do. And Vampire Survivors is trying to be like a really chilled, distilled kind of version of, of like a, a, a loot, a, a kill and loot game, like a Diablo game. It's really good. I, I love Vampire Survivors. I haven't played it in like six months, <laughs> but you know, it's a great game. Maybe it's bad now with the DLC and shit. I don't know, but like I played it for, for a while and I really liked it. It's, it's a, it's a great chill out game. I played it on the, um, the steam deck quite a lot too. So that's it all done. Why isn't Slay the Spire a five? Isn't it a four? I can move Slay the Spire up the rankings of, of, of that if you want, but I don't, I haven't played Slay the Spire that much outside of the stream. I, I like, and I find it a little frustrating sometimes and hot take, hot take of the century chat. Slay the Spire doesn't have great art. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. It doesn't have that great art. The aesthetic of Slay the Spire could be better, you know? So there's a big part of the game because it's turn-based. A, a lot of it has to go with style and everything. And I think it could, it could look a lot better. You know, so that's that. All right, how long have we been live for? We've been live for uh, five hours and 40 minutes. Hope you enjoyed my um, my, my chaos tier list and a trip down memory lane. Um, maybe for the next milestone, we'll do we'll rank all the chans. Or maybe we'll just, just do that for fun one day. If someone wants to do a chan tier list, although we already know who's going to be number one chan. Like, it's so easy to predict what's going to be number one chan but number two chan oh man number two chan could be it could be anyone it could even be a chan 100 million off the marbles i will do it next time i have to reset the races you can hold me accountable i will take it off best game that you haven't streamed um chrono trigger playing the resident Evil 4 remake uh we're not playing the resident Evil 4 remake uh next we are finishing gravity rush tomorrow and then it's forespoken friday on a saturday on saturday and then next tuesday we are starting 13 sentinels that is happening there is a spoiler chat in jads i will be opening it on some point on the weekend if you want to start the 13 sentinels spoiler you know frenzy you can start that up anyway see you tomorrow for gravity rush we're gonna finish it tomorrow and i hope you're excited for 13 sentinels next week i am too i hope it's gonna be uh, a good time. See you later.